family on vacation. So before you travel, pack the Pepto. Pepto Bismol. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Use as directed. Keep out of reach of children. I give my all to my family. I give my best to my job. I give my time to my community. And to myself, I'm giving permission to drive the way I've always wanted. In luxury. In style. Today, not someday. I'm headed to Jerry Signer Cadillac to choose from an entire line of sleek crossovers in stock and the area's largest selection of certified pre-owned vehicles. I've earned a Cadillac. If you have two, then come in today to experience the Signer difference. We know what you're thinking. It's bout time. Bout time you had a cold beer on tap. Bout time you sat down to a fresh made order meal. Bout time you watched a favorite sporting event with fellow fans. And Bout Time Pub does all that and more. Check out Bout Time Pub in Sandy, Tooele, West Jordan, West Valley, Bluffdale, Layton, Lehigh, Harriman, Vineyard, and Ogden. All serving up food made from scratch like smoked wings, sliders, nachos, burgers, pub favorites, and more. Dine in, take out, enjoy it all. See more at BoutTimePub.com. Hey, this is Bill Riley for Valley Collision. If you have body work on your vehicle that needs to be done, whether it's major or just minor, Valley Collision has six Salt Lake Valley locations for you to utilize. I've used Valley Collision for my vehicles, and I can personally vouch for their outstanding work and customer service every single time I've taken a car to have work done. Valley Collision, fast, affordable auto body repairs that you can trust, and you can find them online at valleycollision.com. Some things are better together, like burgers and fries, movies and popcorn, and auto and home insurance. At Farm Bureau Financial Services, we'll help you bundle your auto and home coverage in one policy, saving you money. And if a storm hits and both are damaged, you'll pay a single deductible. Find an agent at fbfs.com slash protect. It's your future. Let's protect it. Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company, Western Agricultural Insurance Company. Hey, it's Les Schwab Tires. Right now, get up to $80 instant savings on a set of four select tires. Our spring tire sale is a little gift just to say, congrats, you made it through winter. Now you can swap out those winter tires for a fresher set at a lower price. Book an appointment online today. Les Schwab Tires, ranked number one by Forbes for customer service and auto repair and maintenance. Limited time offer while supplies last. See LeshWab.com slash sale for details. Dear Plugged In, you in on this? Toyota's versatile SUVs roll up their sleeves and take on tough jobs, dress up for a night out, or haul your family and friends to their spacious interiors. And they're available with some real sweet tech. Want a hybrid SUV? Oh yeah, they got those too. All with a slew of standard features so you won't break the bank. Get the juice at Toyota.com, folks. Visit your Utah Toyota dealer today. Toyota, let's go places. You are listening to The Drive with Spence Jackets on KALL North Salt Lake, ESPN 700 and 1 FM. Download the ESPN 700 app for free today. Tee off your new year with a fresh, fitted, fashion-forward outfit that's perfect for the golf course or in the workplace. I'm talking about Primo Golf Apparel, a Utah-based athleisure company that's got everything from top-of-the-line joggers, hats, sleek Primo Blade polos, and so much more. Even PGA golfers and collegiate athletes are wearing Primo gear. Listen, do yourself a favor and get online. Type in primogolfapparel.com in that search bar and check Check them out. That's primogolfapparel.com. From tea to green, Utah Golf Radio getting you inside the ropes on all things golf in Utah. Teed up by Salt Lake City Golf and the Salt Lake City Golf app. Join Paul Pugmire and Jan Brownstein every Saturday morning from 8 to 10 on Utah's number one sports talk, ESPN 700 and the Rocky Mountain Golf Network. Your home of the Utes is now available on the FM dial. Introducing ESPN 700 and 92.1 FM. All your favorite Utah athletic events are on 92.1 FM. The home of the Utes is ESPN 700 and 92.1 FM. On the Utes Sports Network from Learfield, this is Utah Utes Basketball. Turnaround jump shot, up good, and the foul! Utes Basketball is brought to you by America First Credit Union. America First is proud to be the official credit union of U of U Athletics. Become a member of the home team at AmericaFirst.com today. And by Pepsi. Grab a Pepsi Zero Sugar and cheer on the Utes. 
Utes basketball is on the air. Utah fans, good evening and welcome to Indianapolis, Indiana and to the campus of Butler University and the famed and historic Hinkle Fieldhouse where tonight the University of Utah squares off for the first time in their history against the Indiana State Sycamores in the NIT semifinals. I'm Bill Riley. So good to be with you today for one of the real cathedrals of basketball in all of these United States of America. Tonight, Utah will try to extend its season and take a step closer to its second ever NIT championship as they take on a very good Indiana State team. And I got to tell you, Sean Mooney, this is going to be a road game of road games tonight. I walked up to our broadcast position high above Hinkle Fieldhouse here and was met by a number of Sycamore fans that said, welcome to a road game and welcome to Indiana. There will be a lot of blue in this fieldhouse tonight. It's blue anyway, the color of the Butler Bulldogs, but there'll be a lot of light blue in here tonight for the Indiana State Sycamores, but I think we should have a pretty good matchup between two good basketball teams. Yeah, no, really excited. My, my goodness, when we rolled the bus up, our team even in the bus said, uh, Road Warriors, <laughs> you know, there are probably, what, 200 fans sitting outside. That's 90 minutes before the game. And then I just took a call outside, and they are streaming in, and they seem very interested in their squad. I think that's been a hallmark of this team this year is their home crowd. Well, they, they, they're only 65 miles from campus, and when they – when they got to the uh, Final Four, they bought up all the remaining tickets here. So it's going to be very much an Indiana State home game tonight. But a smattering of red will be in the building. The Utah Band is here. Some family, friends, and administration are here tonight. But the bottom line is Utah's still playing basketball. There's only eight teams left in men's college basketball that are playing, and Utah's one of those eight teams. And it's special, and it's our story, and no one's going to take that away. And to play here in Indiana arguably the home of basketball now we know it started in canada but this is a fantastic venue it's beautiful it's got a lot of history and i think our kids are really excited about this game i know indiana state is and i know their fans are well they are because they're here in droves already and we're still an hour away from tip time tonight indiana state had a really good year in the missouri valley in fact they were targeting being in the ncaa tournament this year but they didn't get in because they lost in their championship game to the, uh, to the Drake Bulldogs in the Missouri Valley Championship. Their net ranking, though, is 29 in the country. They are the highest net ranking team ever not to get an at-large bid to the NCAA basketball tournament. Mm. They were 31-6 and six this year and 17-3 and three in the Missouri Valley Conference. But the, the bottom line with their record really was they didn't have any notable wins. They played a good schedule, but yeah. they lost to Alabama and Michigan State yeah. and Drake a couple of different times. But they didn't have a quote-unquote signature win on that resume anywhere. And as a result, much like Utah, they're playing in the NIT. Yeah, and, and you know what? They're taking it seriously. I mean, these first three wins, that SMU game, you know, you can, just like you say, Bill, often, you really tell what a team wants when that first game hits, and they want it. They've had some good wins. This last win over Cincinnati was tough. It went right to the end, and they, they beat a good team. Well, they were down 14 in the second half of that game, oh. too. Came back to win 85-81. Their path here, after falling to Drake in the Missouri Valley Championship game, they beat SMU at home. They played all their games at home, and it's really a home game for them, too. Yeah. Uh, 101-92. Then they beat Minnesota out of the Big Ten, 76-64. And then Cincinnati in the quarterfinals, 85-81. And now... Well, this isn't in Terre Haute. We're about 70, 65, 70 miles away, and this will be, in essence, a home game. But then again, Utah played all their games at home, too. Yeah, they did, and obviously they play really well at home, and we know Indiana State does. I think they're 17-1 and at home. Let's say this is an extension of home. And then also on the NCAA side, we've got this kid, Burns Jr., who we're all loving. Well, this Indiana State team has a kid that everyone's loving, Robbie Abula, is how I'm going to pronounce it tonight. But he's Larry Nerd. He's got all kinds of nicknames. Tell me some of them. Avila is nicknamed Milk Chamberlain, Larry Nerd, and Cream Abdul-Jabbar. He's a very good basketball player. Take all those goofy nicknames away. And what you have is really a, a guy that they run the offense through at the top of the key and throughout the middle of the floor. And they've got four very good guards that surround them. And if you think Utah shoots a lot of threes... Man. Folks, you ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah. Uh, Indiana State this year shot four, I believe it was four, made 403 three-pointers, yeah. which was the most the in most Division ever. I basketball, yeah, right. the most in school history, yeah. the most in Division I basketball this year. They have two guys with over 100 three, made threes this year. This is a good basketball team. They average a lot of points. They don't guard a lot. Yeah. 
But then again, neither does Utah. That's so we right. might have a really high scoring game <laughs> here right. tonight. Yeah, we thought the last game was going to be first one to 100. Arguably, this game could be the first one to 100. I don't think, you know, everyone stay tuned because this is a re- this going to be a really fun game to watch. It's going to be an up and down kind of a game here tonight in Indianapolis. Of course, Utah in their fifth ever Final Four of the NIT. They won it back in 1947. Their last appearance was 2018 when they went to New York City, got to the championship game, and got beat by the Penn State Nittany Lions that year. Indiana State, well, they've been to a few NITs, but never this far in the NIT, so they're hoping to make a little noise. The last time they appeared in the Final Four of any tournament, it was in a place called um, uh, the Special Event Center oh, yeah, in Salt, Salt Lake, Lake City. City before a guy <laughs> named Huntsman's name went on the building and a guy named Larry Bird, not Larry Nerd, but Larry Bird played against Magic Johnson back in 1979. So it's been a minute. Yeah. This is the first postseason for Indiana State in almost 10 years. I'm really excited to see how they come out. You know, this is a big deal. I mean, this is not an easy game to play, even with your home crowd. In a way, sometimes that makes it a little bit harder. There are a lot of expectations for this squad, and rightly so. They've been really good this year. Let's see. They're they're not as deep a team as we've seen, so let's see what happens. You know, obviously, this is sea level for us, Bill. Uh, that, that bodes well. We can't talk about altitude here. Nope, not, not here in Indiana because it's as flat as flat comes. You can see Illinois if you look outside and look to the west. Our broadcast tonight being brought to you by... Big O Tires for complete car care, convenient online appointments. It's Big O Tires, the team you trust. Coming up, we'll have a little spotlight interview on a guy that's been really one of the key cogs to getting Utah to where they are right now. That's junior guard Davon Smith, who's a triple-double waiting to happen just about every night. If Utah's going to advance to Thursday night's championship game, they may need that kind of an effort tonight out of Davon. We'll hear from him coming up in just a couple of minutes. Also, Utah fans, our broadcast tonight being brought to you by University of Utah Health, a trusted health care partner for Utah Athletics. Get the same great care the Utes trust on and off the court and care to be great. Visit uofuhealth.org slash care to be great. We're at Hinkle Fieldhouse, home of the Butler Bulldogs. Utah's played here one other time, and that was back in 2017, and Butler got the better of them that night. We'll see if Utah can get the better of Indiana State here tonight in the pseudo-road game. We'll have more coming up ahead. NIT semifinal action from Indianapolis ahead. This is Utah basketball from Learfield. The world's best mountain gear and apparel is designed and engineered right here in the Wasatch by Black Diamond Equipment. Bring in your ticket stub from today's game to one of our three Black Diamond Utah stores located in Trolley Square, Holiday, and Park City to get 25% off select apparel and footwear from now until the next home game. Black Diamond Equipment, engineered for adventure. Shaping a game plan for your family's health care involves more than just X's and O's. It's being there when you need them most or when you least expect it. As the trusted health care provider for the youth family and yours, University of Utah Health has the right playbook for keeping your team healthy no matter what age or need. Get the same care the youths rely on by visiting uofuhealth.org. That's uofuhealth.org. will take home the prestigious Learfield Director's Cup for the 2023-24 college athletic season. You can follow the standings of your favorite school or alma mater at L Director's Cup on Twitter and online at thedirectorscup.com. That's thedirectorscup.com and L Director's Cup on Twitter. Trophies will be awarded in June 2024 to the winning institutions in all competitive divisions. Learfield Director's Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics. Whether you're looking for a new car, truck, SUV, or luxury vehicle, Ken Garf has it all. With 23 dealerships along the Wasatch Front, 21 different makes, and thousands of used cars, there's a lot to choose from. But you only have to go to one place to see them all. That's KenGarf.com. That's right, browse every Ken Garf vehicle in one place. And while you're there, you can also sell your current car or schedule a service appointment. Whatever your vehicle needs are, just go to KenGarf.com. Ken Garf, we hear you. Today's game is sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Drivers who switch and save with Progressive save nearly $750 on average. Call or click today and find out if we could save you hundreds on your car insurance. This is Utah Basketball from Learfield. Every game. Every class. Every basket. 
Every performance, every discovery, every breakthrough. We're proud to help University of Utah students and fans reach higher. Whether it's in the classroom, the research lab, or out on the court. Go Utes! Rocky Mountain Power. Powering your greatness. The world's best mountain gear and apparel is designed and engineered right here in the Wasatch by Black Diamond Equipment. Bring in your ticket stub from today's game to one of our three Black Diamond Utah stores located in Trolley Square, Holiday, and Park City to get 25% off select apparel and footwear from now until the next home game. Black Diamond Equipment, engineered for adventure. Continues here tonight in Indianapolis, semifinals of the NIT, Utah against Indiana State. The guy that's had such an impact on Utah basketball this year and led them here to the semifinals. Joins us here on the pregame show, Davon Smith with us here. How's Indy been the last couple days? It's been good. It's been good so far. A little rain yesterday, but uh, we had a good shoot around today. Uh, we've been chilling with the guys. Uh, we went to dinner, the uh, Pacers game, so it's been pretty nice. Have you thought back on this season, what a wild ride it's been for you so far, the transfer in? The summer in, in Spain, of course, having to sit out the first 10 games and then making the impact. It's been a wild ride. It's been a wild, long ride. A lot. <laughs> it's been crazy. It's been crazy. But um, super blessed to be here. Even if we're in an NIT, we're still playing for a championship. Uh, just creating these moments with the guys, with the coaches and the staff. Um, it's just been a, a, a long season, but it's been it's been nice. I, I know you, you guys all expected to or hope to be in the NCAAs, but at least from a camaraderie and chemistry and teammates. Has this been what you kind of expected when you came to Utah, what you had hoped for, a good team atmosphere? No, definitely. Um, like on my recruiting visits, um, I instantly fell in love with just the guys, the work ethic and how they were genuine to one another and myself as well. Um, and it's playing out all the way in, until April here. So, I mean, I just think we have a good chemistry, a good thing going on. And I think we're just going to keep it rolling until we can. Well, tonight it's Indiana State. We'll talk about them in a minute. Most of your career, you've been kind of a combo guy, not a true point guard through and through. You played off the ball a little bit on the ball. When did you start to really feel comfortable as that lead guard, as that point guard? Um, all my life I've been comfortable as that lead guard. Um, just, you know, different schools, scenarios, have you doing something else, so you got to kind of adapt to what you're able to. But um, When did you feel start feeling comfortable running this offense this year? Um, of course, with the injury of Riley, when I had to step up and, and fill those those shoes and those minutes, um, my teammates trusted me, my coaches trusted me, and um, they made me comfortable running the show. You know, we marvel at your ability to stuff the stat sheet. Winning is most important, but you find a good balance of the winning and stuffing the stat sheet. Most guys go an entire career, don't get a triple-double. You got five in 25 games. I know you don't think about it until it's getting close, but what's what's kind of your key and your approach because your your game is so balanced, Davon, and you feel so in control? Uh, just playing hard, giving it my all each and every second, honestly. Um, I want to do all the little things we can to win, whether it's rebounding, getting my teammates open shots, or, or scoring for myself. I just kind of take what the defense gives me, just read and react off of that. Has the rebounding part always been part of your game? Because point guards, you distribute, you score, but you have a real knack for getting boards. No, nah, rebound has always been a part of it. I think one game in high school, I had like 20-something rebounds oh, yeah. before, so it's, it's always been a part. I like to play big, big, like a big guard above the rim and stuff like that, so it's always been a part of my game. I get to start the transition, start the break, and it's, it's harder to guard. You guys will be on a really nice stage tonight. All the men's games are later this weekend. ESPN's here. You'll be on a big stage, everybody in the country to see. Give me a thought on playing Indiana State in their backyard here. Not quite in, in Terre Haute, but not too far from their campus. It's almost a neutral site, almost. But they, I know they're going to have a majority of the fans and stuff in there. But, I mean, I like it. I like to compete. I like those, those tough areas, tough games. Um, I just feel like it's going to be a tough game all around with the fans, the players, and just the atmosphere. I know everybody's excited. Everybody's trying to get a championship. So um, it's just going to be a tough, a gritty game. The building you're playing in tonight is pretty historic. Hinkle Fieldhouse. They shot the movie Hoosiers there. Lots of championships have been played. You've practiced and shot around in there. Do you like it? I love it. I love it. It's, it's definitely a shooter's room. I think the goals might be a little low. <laughs> uh, no, or I don't know. It just maybe springs in the floor, but I like their arena. I love it. Yeah, and there's something cool about an old-school feel 
to a building. And this one's got kind of a little old school, but some new school to it as well. No, it definitely does. Um, we were talking about if if they could have flipped the court the other way around, and it's like we could play this way, but then fans wouldn't be able to come and sit in this area. But no, it's definitely a nice gym. I, I definitely like the aesthetics of the gym. All right, last thing, you guys feel really connected. You feel like you're in a good place. You've won three in a row now. How do you make it four in a row tonight against Indiana State? What's the biggest challenge they present you guys? Um, just staying honest, uh, paying attention to the scouting report, uh, trusting what we went over this weekend in practice. I mean, this week in scout, film, practice, um, just basically doing our homework, staying locked in. You looking forward to having some fun? Yes, sir. <laughs> Play maybe one more? Championship. That's why we're here. That's why we're here, definitely. Davon, thanks. Thank you. There you go. Davon Smith with us here on the pregame show tonight. We'll take a short time out. Sean and I come back, talk a little bit more about the Sycamores of Indiana State coming up. From the NIT in Indianapolis, this is Utah Basketball from Learfield. In need of a bus charter for your next adventure? Well, look no further than the official team transportation provider for Utah Athletics. Holiday Motor Coach has a fleet of over 100 motor coaches servicing the Intermountain West, ranging in size from 24 to 56 passengers. Visit HolidayMotorCoach.com, that's HolidayMotorCoach.com, and request your free online quote today. spent a lot of time listening to me, but if you want to have someone listen to you, head to Ken Garf. Sure, they're in the car business, but their first priority has always been people. That's why they've been able to serve Utah for more than 90 years. They know that when you listen to customers and put their needs first, then quality vehicle selection, fair prices, and reliable service are all guaranteed. So whether you're buying, selling, or servicing, Ken Garf will listen to you no matter what. Head to KenGarf.com to get started. Ken Garf, we hear you. Today's game is sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Protect your home and auto. Save when you bundle. Get a quote at Progressive.com. This is Utah Basketball from Learfield. Aw, shucks. The game's on TV, but I can't listen to the call of my favorite team broadcasters. Never fear. Sync My Game is here. Uh, Sync My Game? Yes, Sync My Game. If you have a DVR and streaming device, head to SyncMyGame.com from Learfield. It's never been easier to hear the impassioned voices of your favorite radio crew synced with the TV. Wow, uh, thank you, Mr. Just remember, SyncMyGame.com. Spring is the time to check painting off your to-do list. Serta Pro Painters makes painting the spring easy and quick. We have more availability, which means you can have your home professionally painted much quicker. Love your indoors again by giving your home a fresh look this spring with a new coat of paint. Get your projects completed fast. Serta Pro Painters is your expert for all your home and business painting needs. For free estimates, call 800 go serta or visit SertaPro.com. That's Serta with a C. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. Becoming America's best-selling brand means you never settle for anything less. Like the Ford F-150, with its premium-grade muscle and finely-tuned intelligence, it's a beast with brains. The Ford Bronco Sport, with unquestioned toughness and capability, it's built to take on the mountains. And Ford's complete lineup of all-wheel drive SUVs gives you the power, style, and space you need for life on the go. Contact your local Ford store for exclusive offers on Ford's full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. Sales so focused on calendar your sales. Every game, every class, every basket, every performance, every discovery, every breakthrough. We're proud to help University of Utah students and fans reach higher. Whether it's in the classroom, the research lab, or out on the court. Go Utes! Rocky Mountain Power. Powering your greatness. Tonight's NIT semifinal from here in Indianapolis being brought to you by an ice cold starry lemon lime soda from Pepsi. And doesn't that sound good, Sean? How does it hit? Hey, a little different. That's what I've heard. Got to try one of those. Starry, proud sponsor of Utah Athletics. We're live at Hinkle Fieldhouse here. Pre-game rolling. A very blue Hinkle Fieldhouse. There are a ton, I mean a ton, of Indiana State fans. This place holds just over 11,000. I'm going to tell you, yeah. 
better than 10,000 in here tonight will be yep. those of the Sycamore variety. It's a good basketball team, Sean. We mentioned 31 and 6. Yeah. And we'll we'll hear from their play-by-play -play man coming up here in just a couple of minutes. Yep. What impresses you most about this Indiana State team? I mean, number one, everyone can shoot it, and they can really shoot it. To have two guys that have made more threes than Gabe Matson. Is saying something, and then all the guys, even the low volume guys, so they have maybe 37, 38, 45, they all shoot it at a high clip. So that's the number one thing that impressed me with this team. What else from a standpoint yeah. of, of, of just running the offense in general? So I, I really like what they do. So they run a lot of naked pick and rolls. So Abula, their big, is very interesting. He's a guy that's a very good passer. He is looking for us to defend out past the three because these guys can shoot it. The minute we defend out past the three, Bill, they're going to back cut. I think in the last game he had five assists to Conwell alone on that defense that was extended. So I don't think we can really deny that catch. I think we need to crowd that catch and then make collisions happen on any back doors because he's a good passer. And then because he shoots it so well, we got to play him as a pop, right? We can't play him as a driver. How about on the other end, Sean? Offensively, Utah's been really yeah. dialed in and in sync in this NIT run. They're not exactly a lockdown defensive team, but running against this Indiana State team, they're not exactly locked down themselves. Yeah. So you tell me what Utah should be really pressing tonight offensively to take advantage. Yeah, there are a couple things. Number one, we need to transition. We need to get as much running as possible. We have the one-man wrecking crew, Bill. His name is Davon Smith. And we have had, I think this is right, Bill, correct me if I'm wrong, 23, 22, 20 assists in the last three games. If we have 20-plus assists again tonight, that's going to be because we put pressure on them in transition. And then we get two feet in the paint in offensive offensive uh, half court. And we get it. I think we need to really take advantage of our bigs because I think we need to put Abula in the post and see what he can do on our bigs. Yeah. We're going to dive hard at him. He, he is not a traditional five. He's a 6'10 player, but... Robbie Avila is more of a stretch for yep. who initiates the offense, and he's certainly not a guy that bangs inside either. No, we're going to find out whether he likes that because one of the things that we're really emphasizing, he's the kind of guy that they put him in soft protection. So whenever his guy sets a screen, he's seven feet off, eight feet, ten feet off in the paint. We're going to do our best to come downhill on that, and our big is going to put a put a body on him, frankly, right at the rim. And, and to be fair, the Missouri Valley, while once a really good basketball league, not quite what it what once was, and it doesn't have the physicality or the athleticism that the Pac-12 does. So this is a very good team, but they're going to step up a level in athleticism and physicality against Utah tonight. My question really is, can Utah handle the environment? We know this team yeah. has struggled on the road and it is a road game let's yeah. not kid ourselves tonight this is a road game in indianapolis it's going to be all blue and it's yeah. going to be uh, a team that's only won two games in true road games this year what i'm hoping and i know you are as well bill is that that ucla game and that oregon game those games we came out and met our competitors early with, yes with great competitive zeal that's what I want to see tonight, right? Because if we have that, we're the kind of team that can really put put you on your pills, and we can do it quickly. Sean will have his key bank game keys coming up in a bit of broadcast tonight being brought to you by America First. Proud to be the official credit union of UEVU Athletics and the only place you can get the exclusive Utah Visa debit card. Make a fast break today to AmericaFirst.com and score yours. Coming up here on the pregame show from here at Hinkle Fieldhouse, my conversation with the play-by-play -play voice of the Indiana State who, uh, I almost said Hoosiers, Sycamores, <laughs> um, Joey O'Rourke. We'll get a little insight on the team from Joey coming up. Uh, Porter Larson will get you caught up to date on uh, sports news and any scores tonight of note around basketball. And then my conversation with Craig Smith coming up all before we tip it off here in about 40 minutes or so at Hinkle Fieldhouse. Utah in the locker room right now and our friends from Indiana State down warming up on the court. We'll have starting lineups in a bit as well. Stay with us. More to come from here in Indianapolis on the pregame show. This is Utah Basketball from Learfield. Is that the sound of an ooey, gooey, cheesy, crunchy slice of P-I-Z-Z-A? <laughs> Obviously. But as good as that sounds, we think it can get even better. Oh, yeah. That's the sound of a freshly opened fizz-filled Pepsi. The only thing that can take this flavor medley of crunchy dough, mouth-watering cheese, and savory sauce to the next level. How about another bite? Pepsi and pizza sound like a match made in heaven and taste even better. Pizza, 
Better with Pepsi. That's what I like. Shaping a game plan for your family's health care involves more than just X's and O's. It's being there when you need them most or when you least expect it. As the trusted health care provider for the youth family and yours, University of Utah Health has the right playbook for keeping your team healthy no matter what age or need. Get the same care the youths rely on by visiting uofuhealth.org. That's uofuhealth.org. Fubo is the official streaming platform of Utah Athletics. With Fubo, you can watch every Pac-12 game, plus more college and pro sports, shows, movies, and news on over 350 live TV channels. Stream it live on your TV, phone, and other devices. No cable required. The best part? You can try Fubo free. There's no contract or commitment. To start watching, just go to FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V.com. No matter what kind of car you drive, two things are always true. All tires eventually need replacing, and all vehicles need servicing. Luckily for you, Big O Tires is an expert in both. They have all the name brand tires you trust for any vehicle on any road condition. They'll keep your vehicle running smooth with expert services on things like alignments, shocks, struts, batteries, brakes, and more. So if you live somewhere in Utah between Beaver and Logan, get into your locally owned Big O Tires, the team you trust. Today's game is sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Looking for a career path with flexibility and great pay and benefits? Go to Progressive.com slash careers and apply online today. This is Utah Basketball from Learfield. Shaping a game plan for your family's health care involves more than just X's and O's. It's being there when you need them most or when you least expect it. As the trusted health care provider for the youth family and yours, University of Utah Health has the right playbook for keeping your team healthy no matter what age or need. Get the same care the youths rely on by visiting uofuhealth.org. That's uofuhealth.org. world's best mountain gear and apparel is designed and engineered right here in the Wasatch by Black Diamond Equipment. Bring in your ticket stub from today's game to one of our three Black Diamond Utah stores located in Trolley Square, Holiday, and Park City to get 25% off select apparel and footwear from now until the next home game. Black Diamond Equipment, engineered for adventure. America's best-selling brand means you never settle for anything less. Like the Ford F-150, with its premium-grade muscle and finely-tuned intelligence, it's a beast with brains. The Ford Bronco Sport, with unquestioned toughness and capability, it's built to take on the mountains. And Ford's complete lineup of all-wheel drive SUVs gives you the power, style, and space you need for life on the go. Contact your local Ford store for exclusive offers on Ford's full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. Sales can based on calendar your sales. Smith's always gives you savings and rewards on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Smith's app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. Plus, you can earn fuel points to save up to $1 per gallon at the pump. And with a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. So you can always save big every day with our savings and rewards. Smith's, fresh for everyone. Savings may vary by state. Restrictions apply. See site for details. Today's game is brought to you by Progressive. See why over 28 million drivers trust Progressive to stay protected on the road. See for yourself at Progressive.com. This is Utah basketball from Learfield.
Since 1939, America First has been helping people pursue their financial goals. And as we have, we've become one of the largest credit unions in the country. The reason why is simple. It's because every day we do our very best to help each person, family, and business we serve to realize their individual dreams and achieve financial well-being. True to our name, we always strive to put our members and employees first. So come join us and let us put you first. America First Credit Union. Federally insured by NCUA. With the Smiths app, shopping online with pickup and delivery is the same as shopping in-store. Same low prices, same personalized deals, same rewards on the same high-quality items like Honeycrisp apples and pasta sauce with no hidden fees or markups. It's one small click for groceries, one big win for busy families everywhere. Start your cart today at smithsfoodanddrug.com. Smiths, fresh for everyone. Restrictions apply. See site for details. Becoming America's best-selling brand means you never settle for anything less. Like the Ford F-150, with its premium-grade muscle and finely-tuned intelligence, it's a beast with brains. The Ford Bronco Sport, with unquestioned toughness and capability, it's built to take on the mountains. And Ford's complete lineup of all-wheel drive SUVs gives you the power, style, and space you need for life on the go. Contact your local Ford store for exclusive offers on Ford's full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. Sales can based on calendar your sales. No matter what kind of car you drive, two things are always true. All tires eventually need replacing, and all vehicles need servicing. Luckily for you, Big O Tires is an expert in both. They have all the name brand tires you trust for any vehicle on any road condition. They'll keep your vehicle running smooth with expert services on things like alignments, shocks, struts, batteries, brakes, and more. So if you live somewhere in Utah between Beaver and Logan, get into your locally owned Big O Tires, the team you trust. As pregame continues tonight, we count it down to tip off between Utah and the Indiana State Sycamores. Chance to go inside the Indiana State program with their play by play man, Joey O'Rourke. I caught up with Joey on my radio show late last week after this matchup was set after the quarterfinals and talked just a little bit to Joey about getting to meet the Sycamores for the first time in this historic field house known as Hinkle. Hey, Bill, I'm uh, doing good. Glad to have you. Uh... Uh, invite me on. I'm, I'm looking forward to talking to you. Looking forward to the matchup from historic Hinkle Fieldhouse. Yeah, we were there for a game against Butler in 2017, and I've been to the building before. It's it's a great place and certainly better than going to Las Vegas where nobody will care about it, although I will say Madison Square Garden was kind of fun, but I've already heard the, heard the field house is sold out. Sounds like the Sycamore fans, when they didn't make the NCAA, snatched up some NIT tickets. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, they were proactive in uh, purchasing the tickets. And uh, when we won on Tuesday night over Cincinnati, I, I think they said by 1130, it was almost a sellout at uh, Eagle Field House for that game uh, that was gonna, that's going to be played on Tuesday night. Uh, again, this team has galvanized the Wabash Valley, Terre Haute, Indiana State University, and this community has gotten behind them in a big, big way, and that's going to continue into next week. You know, it's funny, and I, and I my fans are probably, you know, the listeners are tired, are tired of hearing me say this, um, but the NIT, really the first game of the NIT, is all about do you want to be there or don't, do you not want to be there? And Indiana State really probably thought they were going to be an NCAA team. They had 30, they had 30 almost 30 wins. They lost in the Missouri Valley Championship game. But, but, of course, they probably had their sights set on that NCAA tournament. Were you surprised at all at, at, at how well they've played since jumping into the NIT with those NCAA hopes that got dashed? I, I, I was worried about the first game because you just don't know after the heartbreak and the disappointment of not getting into the big dance after you, you've had a watch party and you feel good about your resume and what you've done. Um, but to see them come out and play the way they did, I mean, it was a 15 point, uh, deficit with 18 minutes to go in the second half. They scored 37 points in the last 11 minutes of the game. Um, so to get that win was huge. But Josh Schertz is a, a amazing head coach. He's done a great job in his three years at Indiana State. We hope obviously it lasts longer than that, but he is a great motivator of these young men. And so to see them play as well as they, as they played, here, absolutely not um, being around them all year. So 
Tell Utah fans what they need to know about this team. I, I think everybody has heard of the legend that is Robbie Avila or Avila, the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, certainly a very good player, but they're more than that, right? Oh, they absolutely are more than that. Obviously, Robbie Avila, or if you want to call him uh, Larry Nerd, uh, Steph Flurry, however you want to, uh, whatever nickname you want to come up with him, he's the hub of the offense, but they are so much more. Uh, Ryan Conwell is a sophomore transfer from South Florida. He's originally from Indianapolis, played at Pike High School in Indianapolis. He's been the, la he's been the best player on the team over the last month and a half of the year. Might even say he's been the best player in the Missouri Valley Conference over the last month and a half of the year. He's just been so good. Uh, you got a kid, guy like Jason Kent, who's 6'9". They list him as a guard. He goes for 35 uh, the other night. He's been so good. And, and that's the one thing that I talk with um, when, I'm, when I've gone on some radio interviews is whoever was in charge of pitching Indiana State to the other selection committee members didn't do a no good enough job because Indiana State lost Jason Kent in the game that they lost to Illinois State at home with about, I don't know, uh, eight minutes to go in the first half. And he was really, uh, he's the key cog for the team. And then they go and they lose on the road at Southern Illinois. So those are two games where they didn't have Jason Kent. And if you watch this Indiana State team and you see what he's done in the NIT, it shows you how important he is to this basketball team. But there are five guys that can absolutely score the ball. Um, they play a free-flowing offense, a pro-style offense, back cuts, uh, threes. I mean, they've hit over 400 threes this year. Their, their school record last year that they had set was 337. They're well over 400 this year. Whether you're looking for a new car, truck, SUV, or luxury vehicle, Ken Garf has it all. With 23 dealerships along the Wasatch Front, 21 different makes, and thousands of used cars, there's a lot to choose from. But you only have to go to one place to see them all. That's KenGarf.com. That's right, browse every Ken Garf vehicle in one place. And while you're there, you can also sell your current car or schedule a service appointment. Whatever your vehicle needs are, just go to KenGarf.com. Ken Garf, we hear you. In need of a bus charter for your next adventure? Well, look no further than the official team transportation provider for Utah Athletics. Holiday Motor Coach has a fleet of over 100 motor coaches servicing the Intermountain West, ranging in size from 24 to 56 passengers. Visit HolidayMotorCoach.com, that's HolidayMotorCoach.com, and request your free online quote today. best mountain gear and apparel is designed and engineered right here in the wasatch by black diamond equipment bring in your ticket stub from today's game to one of our three black diamond utah stores located in trolley square holiday and park city to get 25 percent off select apparel and footwear from now until the next home game black diamond equipment engineered for adventure is that the sound of an ooey gooey cheesy crunchy slice of P-I-Z-Z-A? <laughs> Obviously, but as good as that sounds, we think it can get even better. Oh yeah, that's the sound of a freshly opened fizz-filled Pepsi. The only thing that can take this flavor medley of crunchy dough, mouth-watering cheese and savory sauce to the next level. How about another bite? Pepsi and pizza sound like a match made in heaven and taste even better. Pizza, better with Pepsi. That's what I like. Today's game is sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Drivers who switch and save with Progressive save nearly $750 on average. Call or click today and find out if we could save you hundreds on your car insurance. This is Utah Basketball from Learfield. Dear Plugged In, you in on this? Toyota's versatile SUVs roll up their sleeves and take on tough jobs, dress up for a night out, 
or haul your family and friends to their spacious interiors. And they're available with some real sweet tech. Want a hybrid SUV? Oh yeah, they got those too. All with a slew of standard features so you won't break the bank. Get the juice at Toyota.com, folks. Visit your Utah Toyota dealer today. Toyota, let's go places. Hey, it's Les Schwab Tires. Right now, get up to $80 instant savings on a set of four select tires. Our spring tire sale is a little gift just to say, congrats, you made it through winter. Now you can swap out those winter tires for a fresher set at a lower price. Book an appointment online today. Les Schwab Tires, ranked number one by Forbes for customer service and auto repair and maintenance. Limited time offer while supplies last. See leshwab.com slash sale for details. Our final stop on the pregame show tonight from here at Hinkle Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, Indiana. The semifinal of the NIT tournament for 2024, Utah and Indiana State. Here's our conversation with the head coach of the running Utes, Craig Smith. I caught up with Craig on Monday and asked him what it was like stepping onto that floor for practice at Hinkle Fieldhouse. I've never been to Hinkle. We're driving the bus through this residential area. And we were just driving to all these houses. Around, and all of a sudden you turn the corner and there it is. Like it's just like somebody just plopped it in and it's this big old kind of majestic looking building. And, and um, so we walk in and it was so... I don't know how to do it. It was just very serene and almost surreal. And it was just, just so quiet. They weren't rushing another team off, right? And it, and it was just really cool walking in, nostalgic. And this just this feel that I'm not sure you can describe it. But it's something I know I'll always remember. It's funny you mentioned Hinkle Field House. I was there. The Utes played there in 17 against Butler. So that was my mm. first game experience there. But everything you described was right. And what, what's great is whether your kids are students or history of the game like you and I are or not, at least it's a cool building to play. It's not a dome. Yeah. It's not an NBA arena. It's yes. a cool old college basketball field house. And it's going to be sold out. I mean, the Sycamore fans are 65 miles away. Yeah. And it's going to be 11 thousand people but it's not some big generic dome it's a cool old building it's it's old school and that's a compliment yeah. you know you walk in and and they've remodeled a lot of the outside a little bit of the interior so it's still it's you can tell it's newer newer and a little shinier but it still has that feel they were smart with how they did that but then when you walk in in the depth of it, and and everybody, I mean, anybody that knows anything about basketball knows Hoosiers was, re, you know, that's where Hoosiers uh, was filmed, or that was the setting of it. And uh, I did ask Lawson Lovering, hey, did you bring a tape measure? I forgot mine in the room. He's looking at me like, what are you talking, are you about? talking about? He's like, Lawson, you never seen Hoosiers? No. BC's like, Lawson, what? You never went? So then I asked Luca. You know, Luca's from Serbia. He had no idea what I was talking about. Uh, and and, and Cabe didn't know either. And then, you know, Gabe is like, Luca, are you serious right now? You know, Gabe is a kind of a historian as well. You can only imagine. I just know how loud this place is going to be. And it is sold out in Indiana. State, the actual university, it's in their backyard, and so it's neutral on paper. It's not going to feel neutral uh, during the game. I have that feeling, and so and that's okay. And then you know, there's another like just kind of cool. You know, obviously Larry Bird went to Indiana State, and in all these telecasts, they're they're, they're always talking about that year, right? When when Larry Bird was there, seventy eight, seventy nine, and then there's a connection with Utah with Larry Bird, right, playing in the Huntsman Center uh, against Michigan State. So that that's pretty cool. But it is a unique thing. And then one more little thing on a personal note, um, my, our, you know, we have, my, Darcy and I have four children, and our youngest boy committed to North Dakota State today in Hinkle Fieldhouse. And so that was really, really cool. Oh, well, that's great. And he's, you've got the kids on the trip with you, and yeah. him to be able to commit with you and your wife and his brothers there and his sister, and also go to a place that you guys are all familiar with. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Life comes at you fast, Bill. It does. <laughs> and, and we all measure our age with our kids and how fast they've grown, that's for sure. Uh, this Indiana State team, Greg, I'm not sure where to start. Oh, me neither. Uh, they led the Missouri Valley in defensive efficiency, defensive two-point percentage, defensive three-point percentage. And oh, by the way, they were top five in the NCAA in effective field goal, field goal percentage, free throw, and threes per game. So I would just ask you, if you had to pick your poison are they better an offensive team or a defensive team 
Well, they're they're really good at both, and I'm not trying to, but everybody talks about them on offense, and deservedly so, and understandably so. But I like it, after we had practice, we had um, a media session, right? And that's what I said. Everybody talks about them on their offense, and they're as good as it gets on the offensive end. But what doesn't get talked about enough is how good they are defensively. I mean, those numbers you just said speak for themselves. They they're a complete team, you know. Um, just on the you know, in terms of their personnel, they have three guards that are all high level. They're they're electric guards. All three of them that start um, for them. Um, they're guy. They're three level scorers. They get to the rim. They can shoot pull up jays, but they don't shoot a lot of them because they're very analytically driven, where they don't believe in that a whole lot. And then they shoot the three and shoot the three at a high level. They fifty percent of their shots are from the three. 41% of their shots are at the rim and only 9% of their shots are pull-ups. So that alone just tells you they're super uh, analytically driven. They make 11 threes a game at 38%. 38% is a very good number and and when you make 11 of them, obviously that number can fluctuate some. So these guys are very these guys are different. You know, we've seen they're just different. I, it, it, maybe a little bit like BYU, but not exactly. Um, when you have a five man like Avila that honestly plays a lot like Jokic, that's just kind of how he plays. He, yep. I know he's got three nicknames: Cream Abdul Jabbar, yep. Larry Nerd, and I don't remember the third one. I don't know. Those are the two I know. Okay, there's one more in there too. What is it? No, I haven't heard that one. Maybe he's got four of them. John Vu. Uh, anyway, he is a, he's an elite shooter, a pick and pop guy. But as good of a shooter as he is, I think he's a better passer. I mean, this guy just is dropping dimes, and they're an elite cutting team. Um, they're starting four man who's playing his best basketball of the year. He's actually their second leading scorer over the last five games. His last name is Kent, number 20. Jason Kent. Jason Kent, and his nickname is Cutter. Cutter Kent. And you might repeat, be repeating that tomorrow night a few times because he is an elite cutter. And those two were high school teammates. They were. They were a year apart at Oak Forest High School in Illinois. And they play with that kind of synergy uh, on the floor on both ends. And then when you combine that with those three guards that are very good playmakers, and then off the bench they bring in number zero, who actually played for their coach, at the D2 that he came in from. And so he knows exactly what he wants, and he just kind of fills in. He'll actually play He'll play the 2, 3, or the 4, or the 5. This is a lot different team than VCU in that VCU was top 30 in the country in minutes played off the bench. And these guys are out of 362 teams in Division One. they're 360 in minutes played off the bench. So these guys really live with their top five, top six guys, seven guys. And so... It's a hard team to simulate. They're going to be setting flare screens for their starting five man a lot, like we did a lot more of last the last two years with BC. It's hard to guard when you're. It's just very hard to guard. You're not used to that. They're set flare screens and staggers and even ball screens um, for their center. So they kind of invert their offense at times. They're elite in transition, but like I said, they're hard to score on. They'll take a Vila and they literally just sit them at the rim. So they just sit him right at the rim. And he's not like an elite shot blocker, but you still got to score through him at the basket. And they try to bait you into taking tough pull-ups, right, off the bounce. And so we gotta, we've got we been playing at a lot better rhythm here recently, and hopefully we can keep that thing going um, and handle their pressure. Those guards really get into you. you got to be tough with the ball. And hopefully we can take advantage of some opportunities in transition and on the offensive boards. Do you feel like you guys have gotten better as the year's gone along against teams like this, the cutting teams? I know Colorado gave you some problems, yeah. but you played Iowa, who does a little bit of that, and you did a pretty good job. Do you feel like you guys have seen it enough this year to where it's not a tough prep? I feel like we've gotten a lot better. There's no doubt about it. Colorado, you know, we beat Colorado at home um, at their place, although we were a nightmare at everything at their place. Um, we have gotten better. There's no doubt. Um, Iowa is an elite cutting team, a great motion team. VCU is just a, uh, the same type of thing. 42% of VCU shots were for, from the three where they start driving and they try to bait you into overhelping. And, man, Bill, for a long time this year, we really struggled with that. We, did. we really struggled. And, you know, I think you're, you're just seeing – you know, it's never too late. Like, that's my, like, we just, it's never too late. And I think you're really seeing progress, uh, out of some of our guys that maybe were not the greatest defensive players in the world, but they've certainly gotten better. 
um, and, and understanding what we're trying to do. And, you know, you know, I've always had a really, you know, everywhere I've been, whether it's Mayville, South Dakota, Utah State, here I've had good junior college players. And um, a lot of times, it's the old adage, it takes them a half, a, those guys a lot of times a half a season to kind of figure it out. And um, we've had a couple guys that it's taken maybe a little bit longer than that. Um, just how we do things defensively. Everywhere we've been, we've been very good defensively. Our numbers are actually better than I, you know, I really looked at some things here recently, and our numbers are actually a lot better than I thought on a national scene. But I'm so used to being excellent, you know, on that end of the floor that we are just had too many mistakes that way. But we've figured some things out. We are playing better on that end of the floor. We're playing better on the offensive end, too. I feel like we finally got a rhythm here, and I think Davon has settled in. You know, playing point guard. He's never exclusively played point guard, so that's, I think he's kind of settling into that. Cole, especially defensively, Gabe has found a rhythm again. He looks better. He's moving way better um, than he did for about a four week stretch there during the season. Is he feeling better physically? He's definitely feeling better. He's got his legs somewhat back and his injury he's been dealing with. He's just so um, disciplined with everything he can do to make sure he's where he's at. Um, but I feel like he's got a little more punch to him. When you see him move, he's able to get a lot more separation now than he was getting for for a stretch. And then Hunter Erickson's been playing so much better here since really the Oregon game, uh, giving us a great punch off the bench. Yeah, and, and again, six days to get ready for this game. Good for prep, but also good for... You know, you guys had played three games in about, what was it, seven or eight days. Mm -hmm. And now to have almost six days off, you know, prep's one thing. But but to, to have that non-game going, you know, kind of, you know, balls to the wall, as they like to say, pre uh, basketball has got to be good for their bodies. It's been good. We took two days off. I mean, our last game was on, uh, I don't even remember. Last Wednesday. Was it Wednesday? There we go. Uh, was it Easter yesterday? Yeah, <laughs> no, I think yeah. it was. I can't keep it straight. Um, but it's April's. Uh, first today that's all i know um so and we're into the seventh month of the season but it was it was good to have two days off our guys have had a great look to them which you expect uh, but this has been gone going now for a while where we're starting to figure some things out so we're gonna have to be on point no doubt we're gonna have to handle this environment you know what i mean it's cool but it's not neutral i mean it's neutral but it's not neutral and so we got to really be able to handle the outside influences of the crowd in the energy, but I just think it's going to be a great experience. And one, our guys are really excited to go out and compete and uh, hopefully find a way to, to earn victory. And that's University of Utah head basketball coach Craig Smith. That's our final stop of the pregame show tonight. We'll take a quick timeout. When we come back, starting lineups and the tip. It's the NIT semifinal from Indianapolis, right here from Learfield. Fubo is the official streaming platform of Utah Athletics. With Fubo, you can watch every Pac-12 game, plus more college and pro sports, shows, movies, and news on over 350 live TV channels. Stream it live on your TV, phone, and other devices. No cable required. The best part? You can try Fubo free. There's no contract or commitment. To start watching, just go to FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V.com. Smith's always gives you savings and rewards on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Smith's app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. Plus, you can earn fuel points to save up to $1 per gallon at the pump. And with a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. So you can always save big every day with our savings and rewards. Smith's, fresh for everyone. Savings may vary by state. Restrictions apply. See site for details. Today's game is sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Protect your home and auto. Save when you bundle. Get a quote at Progressive.com. This is Utah Basketball from Learfield. Ladies and gents, your Salt Lake City Tacova store is now open for business. If you're on the lookout for a great pair of boots or fine western goods for men and women, stop by your neighborhood Tacova store at City Creek Center and let their knowledgeable staff get you fitted and acquainted with a mighty comfortable, handcrafted pair of cowboy boots you'll enjoy for years to come. Head over to City Creek Center, step into your new favorite pair of boots from Tacovas, and don't go gently. 
spring is the time to check painting off your to-do list. Serta Pro Painters makes painting this spring easy and quick. We have more availability, which means you can have your home professionally painted much quicker. Love your indoors again by giving your home a fresh look this spring with a new coat of paint. Get your projects completed fast. Serta Pro Painters is your expert for all your home and business painting needs. For free estimates, call 800-GO-CERTA or visit CERTAPRO.com. That's CERTA with a C. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. No matter what kind of car you drive, two things are always true. All tires eventually need replacing, and all vehicles need servicing. Luckily for you, Big O Tires is an expert in both. They have all the name brand tires you trust for any vehicle on any road condition. They'll keep your vehicle running smooth with expert services on things like alignments, shocks, struts, batteries, brakes, and more. So if you live somewhere in Utah between Beaver and Logan, get into your locally owned Big O Tires, the team you trust. Hey, Utes fans, Key Bank wants to meet you in the I Need New Utes Gear moment. When you open a qualified checking account and meet certain requirements, you can receive a $300 gift card to the campus store so you can rep your favorite team all season long. Don't miss out. This special offer ends April 12, 2024. To get started, visit key.com slash Utes or a Key Bank branch near you. Geographic restrictions may apply. Gift card can only be used in person at the campus store. Account early closure fees and other miscellaneous charges may apply. Key Bank, member FDIC and the official bank partner of the University of Utah Utes. On the Youth Sports Network from Learfield, Youth Basketball is brought to you by Bud Light. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Big O Tires. Stop by your local Big O Tires for no credit needed financing. Big O Tires, the team you trust. And by University of Utah Health, trusted health partner for the Youth family and yours. Turn it up. Turn it up. It's game time. Utah plays here. Transition three again. His third triple. He goes up and flushes it with one hand. Step back jumper. Bakes it in. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Climbs the ladder and hammers it down with the left hand. Youth basketball is on the air. Now with the call of the game, here's the voice of the Utes, Bill Riley. Utah fans, good evening and welcome to Indianapolis, Indiana and legendary Hinkle Fieldhouse for tonight's NIT semifinal between the University of Utah and the Indiana State Sycamores. I'm Bill Riley, so glad to be with you tonight. It's a full house here at Hinkle and 95% of it in blue to support the in-state guys, the Sycamores from Indiana State. Utah's not been grown in good true road games this year. Technically, it's a neutral site, but, Sean, this feels anything but a neutral site game tonight. Utah's going to have their hands full with the Sycamores, aren't they? They are going to have their hands full, and you can hear this crowd. They are excited. There's a lot of energy in the building. Our kids are so lucky to be playing the NIT Final Four. I'm excited for them. Fifth all-time Final Four in the NIT for Utah, first since 2018, the only championship back in 1947 for Indiana State, the furthest they've ever gotten in the NIT, the last Final Four they played in was at the Huntsman Center in 79 in the NCAA tournament with a guy named Bird going against a guy named Magic. Starting lineups tonight brought to you by America First Credit Union. For Indiana State, it'll be Julian Larry, Isaiah Swope, and Ryan Conwell joined by Jason Kent. It's a four-guard lineup for the Sycamores, and Robbie Avila will be the man that plays in the middle as the distributor of the offense. He's the big man tonight at six foot ten. For the Utah, it'll be Badgema, Smith, Madsen in the backcourt. Lovering and Carlson in the front court tonight for Utah. Those are your America First Credit Union starting lineups. How about our key bank keys to the game tonight, Chuck? So ironically, it is transition defense. This team gets out. we got to stop the ball even on a cross match. And then it's transition offense for us, Bill. And the half court offensively, we need to keep our dribble alive. We're going to come off screens. They're going to raid or try and dig and steal it. Keep the dribble alive and let our bigs hit Ovula in the paint. And then we really need to get paint touches. And if we can get 20 assists in this game, we're good. Tip up and controlled by Utah. Lawson Lovering gets the tip. Cole Badge in my hands to Davion, uh, Davon Smith. And Utah's got it. Working against that Indiana State man-to-man. -man. They go inside the Brandon Carlson right away. BC attacking has his shot blocked from behind. Indiana State transition the other way. Swope with it. Crossing over, firing outside, Avila. Avila got away with a walk and gave that ball off. Here's ball outside, Robbie Avila. Well, ball, ball fake a three. 
battle his way in on Love, bring it come back out again. Here's a deep three up and in and out, no good. Rebound, Davon Smith for Utah. Nice defensive series right there. Lawson did a good job. Two closeouts. Dave on to the baseline. Kicks it back out front to Badgema. It's a man-to-man -man here for the Sycamores. Cole with a straightaway three ball. Missed it. Rebound Indiana State. That'll be Conwell throwing ahead. Transition's big for Indiana State. Utah gets back in it. Julian Larry handles the basketball. Gets down the left side of the floor. Gets ball outside. Avila for three. Missed it long. Rebound Badgema. So both teams have gone 0 for 2 on the first two trips. Lawson's had to get those get those uh, closeouts three times in a row. Davon handling out front at the left elbow, backs it out, now to Lawson Lovren. Back to Davon Smith. Davon above the arc, moving to his right at the right elbow. Backs it out to Gabe Madsen. Madsen closed out upon. Here's Davon getting downhill on the attack. Throws up a runner and gets it to go on the baseline. And it's 2 nothing Utah. Nice second side attack. Better go back to BC inside again. But I like seeing Dave Vaughn being, making an aggressive move. Julian Larry handles the basketball. Gives it to Avila. We'll call his name a lot tonight. Here's Conwell with it back to Avila. Passes on the three this time. Left side it comes to Swope. Now back out front it comes again. Here's the attack. Dribble down the lane. In the lane. Fires one up. Got it to go. And the foul. On Davon. So he reached his foul. Yep. As a big guy, he, I mean, so Lawson's doing a good job on a guard right there, and he really did a nice job. He put the guard, put the brakes on. Davon tried to help and just reached and caught his arm. Ryan Conwell got the foul. He'll shoot free throws here. Good free throw shooter, 85% on the year, Conwell. Young man that was a transfer from South Florida, native of Indianapolis. Left hander flips it up and missed it. So we're tied at two. Rebound Lawson Lovering. Indiana State, by the way, didn't put anybody on the line. They got everybody yeah, back in transition. That was very interesting, actually. They've seen something. Dave on out front, loss of Lovering. Lovering looking to get rid of the ball to Mats, and Mats it on the attack layup. Good. Nice cut by Gabe. Lays it off the window and in. It's 4-2 Utah. Gabe curled off Lawson. Lawson made a nice pass. Here's Avila straight away. He'll shoot another three. This one's good. They call him Larry Nerd. He knocks it down. Robbie Avila, a 39% three-point shooter, makes it 5-4 Indiana State. They have to watch that bucket in trans secondary transition. Yep, that's right. He's just that trailer. That's exactly right, though. Carlson doubled up on the baseline, dribbles away from it to nice. Madsen, and then he threw it away. Gabe's got to make a better pass than that. Badgeman was wide open on the sideline. Yeah, so everything about that was good. And I don't know, uh, Gabe thought that Cole was going to stay on that wing spot. Cole kind of stretched it a little bit to make it easier, but he just missed him. 17-24 to play first half. 5-4 Indiana State. They walk it up the floor. And now run a motion set. Conwell's got it. And then yeah, a moving, moving screen screen. called yeah. against Indiana State. I like it. Try to get Avila on the move toward the basket. And uh, Julian Larry called for the moving screen. His first and Indiana State's first. Gives it back to Utah. So a lot of pressure on Lawson and our bigs because this kid can really shoot it, and so they got to really move their feet. So far, Lawson's doing a great job. Davon Smith into the front court, guarded there by Conwell. Davon moving left above the arc, backs it out again. Big man's got him on the switch. Here's Lawson popping from 15 feet. He can't get it to go. Rebound off to Kent. He's a guard, but he rebounds it at about eight and a half a game. Here's the attack dribble, getting down the lane, all the way to the window, throws it up short. Avila grabs it back and lays it back in. Nobody on the weak side that time. Avila just grabbed it, laid it up and in. Yeah, Lawson came to help, and no one was there to block out Avila. 7-4 Indiana State. They're on a little 5-0 run here. Dave on directing traffic. Straight away guarded by Kent, the taller guard. He goes about six foot seven. Here's Lovering with it. Lawson at the left elbow. Outside to Davon. He'll fire up a three and knock it down. That's a triple. And we're tied at seven. Davon's got five. BC's working hard inside. We're trying to give him the ball. They're doing a nice job. They fronted him right there with the smaller guard. Conwell running the point. Gets it out front to Kent. Moving to his right. Getting downhill. They throw it away. But he gets it back. Avila for three again. He knocks it down again. Somebody better find Robbie Avila. He's got seven of oh, making eight of their ten points right now. So Lawson helped, and Gabe needed to come over and help. He had to choose, and he needed to choose Ovula right there. They have another 16 to play here in the first half. 10-7, Indiana State, their big man, has been on fire. Here's Madsen for a three. Misses. Tip up, won't right, go, like and it. a push in the back. 
Brandon Carlson foul. It'll be Utah basketball when we get back after our first media timeout. 15-41 to play here in the first half at Hinkle. Sycamore. To make four of their first five tonight. They lead at 10-7. This is Utah basketball from Learfield. Aw, oh, shucks. The game's on TV, but I can't listen to the call of my favorite team broadcasters. Never fear. Sync My Game is here. Uh, Sync My Game? Yes, Sync My Game. If you have a DVR and streaming device, head to SyncMyGame.com from Learfield. It's never been easier to hear the impassioned voices of your favorite radio crew synced with the TV. Wow, uh, thank you, Mr. Just remember, SyncMyGame.com. Spring is the time to check painting off your to-do list. Serta Pro Painters makes painting this spring easy and quick. We have more availability, which means you can have your home professionally painted much quicker. Love your indoors again by giving your home a fresh look this spring with a new coat of paint. Get your projects completed fast. Serta Pro Painters is your expert for all your home and business painting needs. For free estimates, call 800 go Serta or visit SertaPro.com. That's Serta with a C. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. In need of a bus charter for your next adventure? Well, look no further than the official team transportation provider for Utah Athletics. Holiday Motor Coach has a fleet of over 100 motor coaches servicing the Intermountain West, ranging in size from 24 to 56 passengers. Visit HolidayMotorCoach.com. That's HolidayMotorCoach.com. And request your free online quote today. NIT semifinal of Utah basketball being brought to you by Bud Light, proud sponsor of Utah Athletics. Bud Light, easy to drink and easy to enjoy. Bill Riley and Sean Mooney with you here from Hinkle Fieldhouse in Indianapolis. Got four minutes and 20 seconds gone by here in Utah down 10 7. Tell me what you like, Sean, and tell me what you don't like so far, Sean. So, right now, transition D has been good. We haven't gotten anything in transition except arguably that transition secondary three they got. What I don't like is we really need to obviously make obvious. We need to crowd him. And then what I like is that BC is getting, posting up hard. He just got a foul on that offensive rebound. I think that's going to be there all night. And that last foul went on Ken, his first second on Indiana State. Davon's got five. Madsen's got two. Avila... The man they call um, Milk <laughs> Chamberlain has eight of their ten points. He's two of three on threes. The two he's made have been wide open. The other bucket belongs to, to Conwell. And they lead at 10-7 right now. So we'll keep an eye on things to see what kind of adjustments Craig makes here at the uh, at the timeout. This, this is not a deep Indiana State team. They're going to play right. their starters a lot tonight. Yeah. They won't go quite as deep as Utah will go. They're about seven deep. Yeah, that's right. And really six deep probably. And so let's see what we can do. We have not put any pressure on Avila. So right now they're not making Avila guard BC. Really their smallest Kent is not a small. He's six eight. He's a big kid. They list him as a guard. He's really, yeah. a, he's really yeah. a long wing. Yeah. He's, he, he's got a great body out there, too. So that's a nice matchup. He's a good player. And then Larry's a really good defender. So when he moves on to him, he defends well. Utah will inbound baseline left here after the foul, down 10-7. Same five on the floor for both teams right now. They get it into BC, who catches on the baseline, fires up a jumper, missed it. Rebound Indiana State has it knocked away, but gathered in by Swope. He'll push it the other way. Swope gets downhill at the right elbow, backs it out, gives it up to Avila. Pressured by Lawson Lovering on the perimeter now. Outside it comes to Conwell. Conwell dribbling, gives it up to Larry. Julian Larry at the foul line. Back to Avila, 4-3, got it again. That's three triples for the big man, and again, no hand in his face. Yeah, so Lawson is helping. They're trying to go under that screen, and we're going to have to change it. We may have to double Avila to get it out of his hands. 13-7, we'll it's a 6-0 run. They've made their last three from the floor. Utah's got to answer here. Matson out high, Davon Smith. Got to get a little good look this time. Davon to the foul line, search dribble. Turnaround jumper up and rattles around and out, no good. Rebound Indiana State. Larry on the push. Julian Larry on the right side. Larry downhill, attacking Bajima. Lost the handle, got fouled. That's a good foul. Free throws coming here for Indiana State. One of the best free throw shooting teams in college basketball at 79% on the year. So on that last series, we did exactly what we talked about. Davon kept the dribble alive. 
And we got Lawson on the block. Davon took a shot. Lawson just could not collect that rebound. But we definitely want to get a body now. I'm going to make him fill us on at least on this end. So it's hard for him to make those shots on the offensive well, end. Uh, is there a better option? Do you go with Brandon Carlson uh, on it? No, Carlson's a, quicker than yeah, Lovering. He's got no. a longer reach too. I, I like it. Or you could even put you know Hunter Erickson. I mean, let's let's get a bit a bit a small in there and body him up and get him off the line. First free throw made there by Julian Larry. He's also a good free. I'm going to say that a lot tonight. They're all good free throw they shooters. Are. 82% for Larry on the year. Second free throw up, and that one rattles down too. It's an 8-0 run, and it's 15-7 Indiana State. 14-40 to play before halftime as Davon gets the call from Craig Smith, walks across the timeline here. Davon pressured out on the perimeter by Conwell. Now Madsen inside to B.C. No double yet. Whips it to the corner. Erickson for three. Missed it. Rebound tapped out. Gathered in by Indiana State. One and done for Utah. Great pass right there by BC. Here's Larry to the baseline. Reverse layup. Missing, but he's fouled by Madsen. This is not a good start for Utah. It's a 13-3 run and more free throws coming here for the Sycamores. So this team scores at a high rate. One of the reasons they score at a higher rate is because of their offensive spacing, and these kids can put it on the floor, and they know they can put it on the floor because they shoot it, so they get crowded. They're doing a good job. Julian Larry is a transfer from Lincoln Memorial College. He came with his head coach when John Schertz made the move a few years ago. First free throw good by Larry. He's three for three at the line. Utah hasn't scored now in over two minutes. 16-7 Sycamores. One more free throw here for Julian Larry, and he got it. They're four out of five on doTERRA free throws. Utah's down nine right now. Snemega 10, 17-7. It's a 10-0 run. Screen high, Carlson. Davon downhill on the left side. Backs it out, gives it up to Hunter Erickson. Ben Carlson, corner three, bullseye! Big three needed, big three gotten that time by Ben Carlson. So Avila was on him, and I like that Ben Carlson comes in, and he's going to be able to stretch it for us. I'll help. 17-10, now that ends the run. Indiana State with a basketball. Conwell moving right. Conwell down the lane, turnaround jumper up and good, right over the top of Ben Carlson. We're getting baskets, and looks very easy, Sean. Really easy. He's a very good player. He's a lefty also. we got to know he's going back to his right shoulder. Skip pass, Ben Carlson back to Madsen. Straight away, triple. It's good. It's a bullseye. 19-13. Gabe's got his triple. BC was double on the post. We recognized it and took advantage of it. Utah's got to get a stop here. Sycamores have made their last four. They go inside to Avila to travel with the basketball. You betcha. Good help by Hunter on the baseline that time to force that travel by Avila. Gives it back to Utah. So the minute we go smaller, they post Avila up and Hunter saw it on the backside and came over to help and gave him just enough pressure and made him travel. 19-13, Sycamores. 13-10 to play here in the first half at Hinkle Fieldhouse. NIT semifinal game number one tonight. Georgia and Seton Hall will follow. Here's Dave on top of the key. Gives it back to Ben Carlson. Dribble handoff to Hunter Erickson pressured. He whips it back to Ben. Ben gives it up to Dave on top of the key. Dave on getting downhill all the way to the rim. Layup missing. A lot of contact. No whistle. Back the other way comes Slary. Julian Larry. At the right elbow, into the lane, layup, good. They're putting on a clinic right now, carving Utah up on the inside. Five for their last five. Yeah, so those are called rub screens, and they did a really nice job with them, just two of them to get them wide open at the at the rim. 21-13, Sycamores by eight. Here's Gabe Matson turning, shooting, and missing. Rebound goes to Avila. They're blocking Carlson yeah. out big time right they now. They're doing a great job on the defensive boards. Here's the drive down the lane. Knocked nice away. Job, Gathered BC. in by Hunter Erickson. Hunter fouled from behind. Nice. And Blitzen may have gotten him there. Let's check the number on that. Nope, that's going to be Swope who got him from behind. Yep. Team foul number three on Indiana State. BC did a nice job. He got his arms out on that drive. It's what you have to do. At least make it harder to make a pass, right, when you're in there. Right now, they're getting at the rim as anytime they want. Utah's getting nothing in the paint right now. Yep. Everything's coming on the perimeter. No offensive rebounds, you know, except for that one that BC got a touch on. They're, they're markedly trying to block us out. They're doing a good job. Erickson, Badjima, Ben Carlson, Kata, and Gabe Madsen on the floor as Hunter brings it into the front court. Dribble handoff, Badjima out front now. Looking to get rid of it. Here's Madsen with it, curling on the left side. Back out front on the right side to Badjima. 
Cole's going to get to the foul line. Cole's going to get downhill, turn, shoot it up, and miss it. Man, oh man, everything at the rim being missed right now. Here comes Indiana State back the other way. Hoosiers in transition. Hoosiers, Sycamore's in transition. Cut off of the baseline drive. That time was Wolf getting down Main Street, shot up, and missing another foul on Utah. Conwell will go to the line this time when we get back. Utah's got a real problem on the defensive end right now. They're having real trouble stopping Indiana State. The Sycamore is shooting 70% for the floor right now and owning the paint. Timeout on the floor. Indiana State 21 and Utah 13. This is Utah basketball in the NIT semifinal from Indianapolis right here from Learfield. No matter what kind of car you drive, two things are always true. All tires eventually need replacing, and all vehicles need servicing. Luckily for you, Big O Tires is an expert in both. They have all the name brand tires you trust for any vehicle on any road condition. They'll keep your vehicle running smooth with expert services on things like alignments, shocks, struts, batteries, brakes, and more. So if you live somewhere in Utah between Beaver and Logan, get into your locally owned Big O Tires, the team you trust. You've spent a lot of time listening to me, but if you want to have someone listen to you, head to Ken Garf. Sure, they're in the car business, but their first priority has always been people. That's why they've been able to serve Utah for more than 90 years. They know that when you listen to customers and put their needs first, then quality vehicle selection, fair prices, and reliable service are all guaranteed. So whether you're buying, selling, or servicing, Ken Garf will listen to you no matter what. Head to KenGarf.com to get started. Ken Garf, we hear you. Hey, Utes fans, Key Bank wants to meet you in the I Need New Utes Gear moment. When you open a qualified checking account and meet certain requirements, you can receive a $300 gift card to the campus store so you can rep your favorite team all season long. Don't miss out. This special offer ends April 12, 2024. To get started, visit key.com slash Utes or a Key Bank branch near you. Geographic restrictions may apply. Gift card can only be used in person at the campus store. Account early closure fees and other miscellaneous charges may apply. Key Bank, member FDIC and the official bank partner of the University of Utah Utes. and operated Big O Tires for complete car care, convenient online appointments. Big O Tires, the team you trust. Rough start so far here. A lot yeah. of basketball to be played, but Utah did not come out of the gate great here. They're down eight. Free throws coming for Indiana State, really. You know, Indiana State's making shots right now, Sean, and they're getting in the paint. They're yeah. out there. They're, they're a smaller team. They've got eight point points in the paint. Utah has two right now, and Utah's missed two or three shots right at the rim. Yeah, that's right. So one of the things they're doing, obviously they're good shooters, and so we're gonna we're gonna crowd them and make them drive. And particularly when Avila's not in, they're big who's a shooter. We need to be able to help off on that. And then we can't bail them out. We you know they're they're crafty in there, but we cannot bail them out. So if we get in there, let's not foul in addition to letting them get in there. 21-13 Indiana State, our first half tonight being brought to you by our good friends at Quick Quack Car Wash. It's that time of year where you've got to keep that car clean and outshine everybody in the lot. Over 40 locations for Quick Quack Car Wash, including along the Wasatch Front. Get clean so fast you never miss a second of the game with Quick Quack Car Wash. 21-13, Indiana State. After that foul on Hunter Erickson, that's four on Utah. Yeah. And free throws coming here on the other end for the Hoosiers, who again are a 79% free throw shooting team. And Conwell will go to the line and shoot two here. He's 0 for 1 tonight. And so this guy, Conwell, uh, his coach has said in the press that they, they, he thinks he may, be, may have been the best player in the Missouri Valley Conference. And uh, so far, he's showing that. They definitely, uh, we, can, uh, we need to limit uh, their free throw attempts. He's a transfer from South Florida who hits his first free throw. He was named the Missouri Valley Newcomer of the Year this yeah. year, first year in it. And he's put his team up nine now. One more free throw here for Ryan Conwell, who's, again, a native of Indianapolis, Indiana. So he's playing in front of the home crowd tonight. Second free throw goes down. It's a 10-point advantage again here for Indiana State. Yes, Hunter yes. Erickson will bring it up. Ben Carlson, K. Bacata, Batchman, and Madsen out there for Utah. Madsen among the wing, above the arc on the right-hand side, right in front of the ISU bench. Gabe gives it up to Hunter on the left wing, now to Badgeman in the corner. Ben Carlson's got it, looking inside for K. Bacata. Kata going to go to work, and he's nice. fouled from behind that time by Vorst. Derek Vorst, big freshman out of Rossford, Ohio, 
Give him a little push in the back. Team foul number four. I love it. So we got to a second side, third side, and then Ben created a pass angle with his dribble and made a nice pass to Kaba, who got pushed off the block. Erickson's going to look to get it in. Baseline right for Utah. Looking and looking. Catch and shoot three by Madsen. Missing. Rebound Indiana State. Rebounding incredibly well. We got to want that ball more. Utah three of seven from deep right now. Here's Bledson with it. Thought about a step back. Three gave it up instead on the wing. They bring the ball back to the foul line. They get down the lane. Ball fake once. Try to shoot a scoop shot up. Can't get it to go. Rebound Hunter Erickson. Cater did a nice job there defensively. Not fouling him. Hunter on the push the other way. Gives it up to Badgema. Cole puts it on the deck. He'll attack. Lay up high off the window. Good. Badgema's got a bucket. And Utah's back with an 8-23-15. Nice job, Utah. Good job, Cater. Way to put your head down, Cole, and get it off the backboard. Conwell running the point right now, marked up by Madsen. Here's Bledson out to Conwell. That's a three ball up and good. They are four out of six from deep. They're going to shoot a bunch of them, and they just knocked down their fourth triple. They pulled down a lead by 11. That's what this team does really well. They're good offensively. Erickson gives it up to Cable, who got away with a travel. Cable works his way in, layup reversed up and in. Good move by Kata. He gets that to go, 26-17, ISU by nine. Went to the other side of the rim. Nice job, Kato. Bledson going to go to work on Badgham on the baseline. Bledson, ball fakes, gets a shot up and good. Utah's defense is non-existent right now, Sean. That's seven of the last eight for the Sycamores. They're basically taking advantage of Guinness and the paint. Bledson's 6'6". Six, six. He's a big kid, and then just going right over to the top of us. Here's Hunter Erickson on the drive down the lane. Throws up a runner and gets it to go. Out of boy, Hunter. 28-19, lead back to nine again. Utah's made their last four, but they're still down nine. Here's another three up and missing. Cato with a rebound. Conwell had a good look, though. Got lucky on that when we were late on that switch. He had a wide open shot. Here's Hunter Erickson, three balls straight away. Bullseye! Hunter with back-to-back -back buckets. Utah back within six, 28-22. And Coach Smith's imploring them right now. The bench is up. They're giving them a little energy. We're in the zone. Utah in a zone now. Let's see what they do. Julian Larry at the foul line to the baseline. Dribbles it off the face of the big man. Madsen throws it ahead and throws it away. Just a little miscommunication right there. So we did a great job in the zone. And then Madsen thought Cole was running to the cup or to the rim. But he ran to the wing instead of the corner. And that's a big turnover on Utah. That could have been huge. Instead, it gives it right back to Indiana State. Turnover number four and number two on the Utes. 28-22, Brandon Carlson back in the ball game, as is Lawson Lovering and Davon Smith. But I like the changeup. I like the zone changeup. That's smart, right? We got to do something to slow them down. And right now, that may, this may be the thing. Let's see how they're prepared for it. They went to the short corner on that last one. Nine minutes to play in the first half. Sycamore basketball and a six-point lead. Swope with it out front, gives it up now. Wolf has it to the corner. Now they go inside Bledson. Baseline ball out of bounds. Another Indiana State turnover. That's their fifth. I'm not sure if that was off of the big man Avila or if it was off Bledson. Either way, it's Utah basketball. So it's bad spacing. He backdoor cut and Avila was right there <laughs> by him. It was just bad spacing on their part. Thank goodness for us. Dave Vaughn will bring it into the front court. Utah down 12. Or it was down 10. Now they're down 6. Picks up his nice. dribble. Goes to BC. BC opposite side. Badgema. Cole's going to drive it. Get to the foul line. Kick it back to BC for three. Bullseye! That's a triple for Brandon. 28-25. Right Utah back in it again. Wolf's got it on the right wing. Straight away picks up his dribble. Now Bledson down the lane. Kicks it outside. There's a three for Indiana State. Rattled down by Kent. Makes it 31-25. That ends an 8-0 run by the Utes. So they made a nice cut, got a catch in the paint, went right back out to Kent, who doesn't miss many. Maybe number one in the country. They are five of eight from deep right now. Erickson's got it. Out front, Badgema. Cole looking to get rid of the ball, does to Davon Smith. Davon at the top of the key. Davon picks up his yeah, dribble. Nice. And what do we have? A whistle and a foul on the inside yeah, against Indiana State. So. I'm glad so. Ledson picks up the foul. Yep. That'll be the fifth on Indiana State. Takes us to a timeout with 7.55 to play. Utah clawed their way back in this thing just a little bit. They made their last five. Got to get some more stops on defense. Big O Tires broadcast spot here at Hinkle Fieldhouse. It's 31-25 Indiana State over Utah. And this is Utah basketball from Learfield. Dear Truck and Awesome, what do you think of when someone says tough? Honestly, I think of a Toyota truck. Tundra's one mean mother of a truck with a twin turbo V6, an incredible going power, 
And the Tacoma claws through terrain with a taller suspension and lots of creature comforts in the cockpit. Both Toyota trucks are decked out with tons of cool features and tech you'll dig. Check them out at Toyota.com, folks. Visit your Utah Toyota dealer today. Toyota, let's go places. I can't tell you how long it took my husband to accept he had an ED problem. It was impacting our relationship. I could tell it troubled him in ways he couldn't express to me. Then a friend told me about Happy Valley Clinic and how helpful they were for them. So I made the call to Happy Valley Clinic. This is what I hear in our clinics every day. This is Brock with Happy Valley Clinic. When we are talking about ED, it is almost always a vascular and muscular issue. With the latest breakthrough technologies centered around ED care, Happy Valley Clinic can help you in a big way. 70% of men suffer from ED in silence. That's right, that's 7 out of 10 men. The data is shocking. The pills don't work, their partner is losing interest, and their confidence is wavering. Happy Valley Clinic can help. Happy Valley Clinic in Salt Lake and in Provo. Call in the next five minutes for a free consultation and trial treatment. A $650 value. Call 833-ED-NO-FUN. 833-ED-NO-FUN. This is NIT semifinal basketball from Hinkle Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, Indiana. It's a road game tonight for Utah. <laughs> Indiana State's got about 10,000 yeah. in blue here tonight. They have made this neutral site very much their home, 65 miles from campus. It's a good game so far, 31-25 in favor of the Sycamores. Our broadcast tonight being brought to you by Key Bank, official banking partner of Utah Athletics. Find them online at key.com. What's kind of changed the momentum of this? Obviously, yeah. they're still in front, and yeah. they're still playing well, Indiana State, but Utah's clawed back in this thing. Yeah, so we had, went into a zone, a 1-1-2, one, 1-3-1, one, 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 whatever you want to call it, and we had two turnovers. Gabe got a nice turnover, and then they made a little bit of a mistake in terms of their spacing. So they're talking about that right now. It looks like they've got the right idea. I like what they're doing offensively, Sycamore. So let's see if we can constrict a little bit, and we got to really make sure we rebound. And then it's really nice because BC's working so hard on the offensive end, Bill, that he was able to step out and get that three. But he's going to put a lot of pressure on them in the inside. And really, they can't afford to foul him. They don't have a lot of players. So let's see what happens as the game progresses. We know this team can put up points. I mean, they had 53 in the second half of their last game. So it's not like they can't do that. Our broadcast tonight also be brought to you by Kohl's. Everyday styles, great prices. Get more of what you want for less. By the go-tos for going everywhere. And perfect picks for your home shop at Kohl's and Kohl's.com today. Bill Riley, Sean Mooney with you here at Hinkle Fieldhouse. One of the great venues for basketball anywhere in these United States. Absolutely. You saw it down by 6, 31-25. They've got Lovering, Bajma, Hunter Erickson, Davon Smith, and Brandon Carlson on the floor right now. You double inbound baseline right down by six. What a nice little run by Hunter, right? Hunter is also, I should have mentioned that. He comes in, hits a tough shot under dress and hits a three. Play with some good confidence. Yeah. Here's Lovering taking the inbound pass back to Davon. Davon yes. with a Nash dribble in the lane. Kicks it back out to Badgeman. Cole moving right. Picks it up, gives it back to Davon on the left wing. Looking inside for BC. Got a mismatch with Kent on him. Turn around jumper up and missing. Rebound Indiana State. Great right to see Brandon attack on that. Yep, I love it. Great shot. I mean, yeah, he did fade away right there. Could have dropped that maybe. Sycamore basketball. Swope running the point right now. Bledson's got it. Guarded by Davon Smith. He gives it back to Swope. Isaiah Swope step back three up and short. Rebound Davon Smith. His first. He's quick. Swope's quick. You get that little crossover and step back. Back the other way comes Utah with the basketball down by six. Yes. To go to Lawson Lovering on the low block. Lawson pulling his way uh, in on like Avila, it. jump hook up, and he missed it, an air ball. I like everything but the finish. Everything else was good. ISU basketball, Wolf is fouled on the floor. That'll be team foul number five on Utah. Is that two on Davon? That is two. You're going to have to be careful now. Well, and especially on Wolf. I mean, I'm not, no disrespect to Wolf, but, I mean, let's think about what we're doing out yep. there with that kid, right? Maybe he's, I mean, he'd probably be shooting like everybody else, but maybe not put the pressure on him right there. He's averaging two points a game. Probably not at the top of the scouting report. Probably not. Baseline left on the inbound. They get it into Avila. He's Avila gives it back. Here's a deep three left side. Missing rebound, Davon Smith for Utah. Davon's going to wait for traffic to clear, push it up. He's got two fouls. He'll have to be careful. Davon getting downhill. Davon to the lane. Lost it out of bounds. It's Utah basketball. Looks like a reach-in foul to me. 
Yeah, and the fans are not liking it. So they feel like it went off. Davon. Davon was looking for the foul as opposed to going up to score. Inbound on the right side, this or left side for Utah this time. Davon looking and looking and looking to BC. Nice Catch screen. And shoot triple. Bullseye. Brandon with his second triple tonight. Utah back within three. Here they come. 31 28. Nice. Sycamore's back lead quickly the other way. They drop it inside for the big man. Can't lay up good. Bad weak side defense by Utah. Everyone's committed yep. on the other side. And that's what they do in transition. That's just secondary transition for them. 33 28, five point advantage. Utah within five here. 6-19 to play in the first half. Things have settled a bit. Still got to get some stops on the other end. Sycamore shooting 61%. Here's Smith looking inside. Nothing there. Got to get the foul line of, to Lawson Lovering who lost the handle. Now gathers it back again. Back outside to Badgema. Cole with an 18-foot jumper up and rattles it down. Big shot by Badgema. Back in the zone. Nice pass by Lawson to get it to him. Cole's telling everyone what they're doing. 33-30, Sycamores. Utah in a zone right now. Here's Swope for three. Too strong. Rebound. Gathered in by Badgema. He'll hand to Go. Dave on. Utah creeping closer here. Getting some stops on the defensive end. Here's Dave on in the lane. Dave on down the lane. Dave on to the baseline. Turn around jumper up and good. Dave on Smith. Now with seven. Utah within one. 33-32. All right, here come the fans. Nice job, Davon. Way to keep them on your back. Exactly what the game plan was. Nice job. Conwell against that zone straight away. Right side to Swope. In the middle ball. Okay. Kicked by Utah. We'll reset the shot clock to 20. Ben Carlson's going to check in the ball game. Lawson Lovering will check out here for Utah. And the ref just gave Davon a hand. Get your shirt tucked in. Come on, kid. Nice play down there. 514 to play in the first half. One point game. Utah's trailed by 10 twice. I like it. They've got their way back in this ball game. Zone giving Indiana State at least a little pause right now. Here's Swope ball faking a three, stepping back and missing again. Rebound knocked nice, around. BC, BC go, grabs go, go. it. Outlets to Davon Smith. Davon on the run. Davon coast to coast. Layup good. There we go. And Utah leads it. 34 to 33. A timeout taken by Indiana State. Utah in a 6-0 run over the last 63 seconds has grabbed the lead back here with 4.57 to play in the first half. The rap, I mean, our, our coaches were so excited. They jumped, all of them jumped off the bench when Davon finished right there. Davon coast to coast has nine points. It's a 30-second timeout, so we're going to keep it right here. Davon with nine, six for Brandon Carlson, five apiece for Madsen and Erickson on the other side. Avila got off to that great start. He had eight, now 11, nine for Conwell. And that's where we are right now in a tight one, which we knew it would yes. be. 34-33, Utah by a point. Yeah, so that's what we want to do. Obviously, that's what the coaches were talking about. We, we need to get our transition going. Obviously, Dave on is a one-man wrecking crew in transition. And it's interesting. I was reading this today because I'm a, a basketball nerd, Bill. There's this fair theory, right, that if you have two fouls, you take them out. And yep. you let the two fouls take a player out of the game as opposed to having some of the risk of having them in and enjoying the success they may have when you have them in, which is what we're doing right now, and that is exactly what just happened. We had success. So ISU basketball, 4.57 to play. They're going to push it up the floor now, and Utah's going to stay in that zone at least for the next minute or so. Here's Conwell with it. He's got nine already. Now the attack inside, Avila layup good. Where was the backdoor defense? Yeah, so it's really hard. They got a catch and zone penetration and made a nice pass to the to the short, not short corner, but really the opposite block. Everybody got caught ball watching yep. that time. Here's Davon with it. Outside to Ben Carlson. Now to Badgema. Defense closes quickly on Cole. He'll get down the lane. Badgema fouled nice. on his drive. Love it. Team foul number six on the Sycamore. That's a reach-in foul. I don't Absolutely. know what don't like here. Absolutely. Easy call. Yeah, easy call, and that's good. Again, we're putting pressure on them at the rim. We need, we want to get them a foul show. That's really going to help us. Okay, Badgema will inbound. Baseline left here for Utah. Ledson checks back in. Swope checks out for ISU. Lob it into BC. Back to Gabe. Gabe down the lane, fires outside. Ben Beautiful. Carlson for three. Beautiful. Bullseye! Utah back up 37-35. Great recognition by Gabe. Here's Conwell whipping it outside. Julian Larry on the baseline. Larry going to work in the lane, dribbles it back out again. Gives it up to Conwell on that wing. Conwell gets down the lane, shuffles to Avila. Push shot, good. 
There's going to be an answer for him. He's got 15 now, uh, Sean. He does a really nice job of finding the space, and he's got soft hands. Tied at 37 as we dip under four to play here in the first half. Davon Smith inside the Brandon Carlson. DC going to work on Kent. DC back at his way in. Jump hook up and good. Great patience by Brandon. He's got eight. Utah back in front by a bucket. No double. He's going to get to that left shoulder if you let him. Nice job, DC. 39-37 Utah. Drive left inside. Bledson to Kent. Shot up and got it to go. They're getting everything they want right at the rim right now as Indiana State. Good interior pass. A very good pass. I mean, they know where everyone is, and they're just making that pass, trusting the process. They lead the points in the paint, 18-14. We're tied at 39. Davon with the ball in his hand. 3.08 to play here the first half. Davon down the lane, throws up a shot, comes up short. Force that one. Indiana State in transition. They throw it away. Utah basketball. Let's catch a break. Oh, gosh. We'll take that. Thank Absolutely. You. 2.59 to play in a wildly entertaining first half here in the first NIT semifinal here in Indianapolis tonight. It's Utah 39 and Indiana State 39 for the Big O Tires broadcast position high above Hinkle Fieldhouse. It's Utah basketball from their field. Is that the sound of an ooey gooey cheesy crunchy slice of P-I-Z-Z-A? <laughs> Obviously, but as good as that sounds, we think it can get even better. Oh, yeah, that's the sound of a freshly opened fizz-filled Pepsi. The only thing that can take this flavor medley of crunchy dough, mouth-watering cheese, and savory sauce to the next level. How about another bite? Pepsi and pizza sound like a match made in heaven and taste even better. Pizza, better with Pepsi. That's what I like. Shaping a game plan for your family's health care involves more than just X's and O's. It's being there when you need them most or when you least expect it. As the trusted health care provider for the youth family and yours, University of Utah Health has the right playbook for keeping your team healthy no matter what age or need. Get the same care the youths rely on by visiting uofuhealth.org. That's uofuhealth.org. You've spent a lot of time listening to me, but if you want to have someone listen to you, head to Ken Garf. Sure, they're in the car business, but their first priority has always been people. That's why they've been able to serve Utah for more than 90 years. They know that when you listen to customers and put their needs first, then quality vehicle selection, fair prices, and reliable service are all guaranteed. So whether you're buying, selling, or servicing, Ken Garf will listen to you no matter what. Head to KenGarf.com to get started. Ken Garf, we hear you. in Indianapolis, Utah 39, and Indiana State 39. First half tonight being brought to you by Diamond Rentals. Let them help you plan and prepare your next big event. What makes them the premier rental company in Utah for over 40 years? Quality experience and professionalism. Best inventory, great staff, and the highest level of customer service. Plan and prepare your next event with Diamond Rentals, 801-262-2080. Got a fun game going right now, 259 to play. Neither team playing great defense right now. Indiana State hadn't stopped. Utah's just missed shots. Yeah. But the Utes are shooting 52%. Yeah. Unfortunately, Indiana State is shooting 61% <laughs> right now. The difference in the game, Indiana State's got six trips, six free throws. Utah hasn't gotten to the line yet. Yeah. But uh, Utah's made a couple of more threes. Anyway, we're tied at 39. Rebounding edge goes to Indiana State, which Utah really can't afford to have. They're bigger. They yep. should be out rebounding Indiana yep. State. Yeah, they absolutely should. And then also, you know, we're winning the points in the paint right now. We've recouped that, but look at the bench points. So one of the things, you know, one of the problems with our team this year is we have not had great bench points. I'm not sure. Oh, no, excuse me. I'm wrong, Bill. We have, we're have we winning the bench points. Thank you very much. Yeah, it didn't make any sense because Hunter's had a good game. Ben Carlson's hit a couple threes. How about Ben Carlson coming in and knocking down those threes, getting his feet set and knocking them down? Ben doesn't want this to be his last collegiate game. Either does Brandon Carlson. Right. Ben's got six. Brandon's got eight. Davon Smith's got nine. Utah's got the basketball, and they'll face some full-court pressure for the first time here tonight. Davon's out. Hunter's got the ball. Hunter Erickson running the point. Davon's got two fouls. He'll sit for a few minutes. Hunter into the front court, man to man. Here. In the nope. zone. Little yep. zone. One, three, one. one. Yep. Let's see how we do against it. Pajama, deep three, left side, bullseye. Cole knocks it down. He's got seven. Utah with a three point lead, 42 39. Love it, man to man for us. Let's get a stop. Utes have made seven of their last eight. Let's see if they get a stop now. Here's Swope handling the basketball. Under Out zone. front, looking Avila. for Avila. 
Avila going to work on Hunter Erickson. A little shot up and missed it at the rim. Rebound, though, Bledson. Oh, you got to get that offense. Yep. You got to get that defensive rebound. Bledson working his way in on Madsen. Bledson turning, shooting it up and missing. Gets his own rebound. Shot up and good in the foul. On BC. Damn it. So Bledson's in there, and he's basically pump fake, pump fake. BC's coming to help. He saw him. Got a big rebound. Two offensive rebounds right there. They have four offensive rebounds. Utah has one. And Bledson will go to the line, an 82% free throw shooter. Young man is kind of the sixth man of this team right now. Yeah. Xavier Bledson. A redshirt senior out of Gainesville, Georgia. Rattles at home. We're tied at 42 again. Back to that full court pressure. Here comes that full court pressure again. Cole Badger will walk it up. Now back into what looks like a man-to-man. -man. Yeah. Here's Hunter Erickson turning the corner, getting downhill. Hunter to Gabe Madsen. Madsen getting into the lane. Madsen to the right side. Madsen high off the window. Couldn't get it to go. BC battles oh, for the gosh. rebound. Got fouled. Nothing called. Yeah, he did. Here comes ISU. Swoop. Hands to the big man, Avila. Oh, uh -oh. Here's Conwell oh, for okay. three. Missed it. Brandon Carlson He's comes hurt. up lame. And now they're going to have to get BC out of the ball game. Looks Shoot. like his ankle. His ankle. Hope it's not his maybe knee. it was a knee to knee. That's what I'm hoping. Like, maybe you they know, knocked the, knees. That's what I'm hoping. BC's going to come out of the ball game here for Utah. Who's going to check in? I think that's what happened. That's what I would say happened. They're going to get Kabakata in. They're going to get yeah, they're gonna take lost the Lovering in. BC's going to go to the end of the bench. Trevor Jamison will take a look at him. Lawson Lovering comes back in the ball game. All right, 141 left, 42-42. Utah's made seven of their last nine. They'll inbound on the sideline just below us here. We're on the second level here at Hinkle Fieldhouse. Calling this one tonight. Indiana State staying in man-to-man. -man. Badgerman gets it into Erickson. Erickson matched by Conwell. We get it up to Carlson. Ben. Ben dribbling. Gives it up to Gabe Madsen. Madsen gets down the lane. Lost the basketball. Threw it out to Hunter Erickson. Plenty of time on the timer. 12 seconds for Utah. They get no rush here. Hunter gives it up on the wing to Badge. But Cole will drive. Shoot it up and miss it, but he's fouled. He'll shoot a couple of free throws. Good drive. Very good drive. He did a nice job, and he went with two hands, which makes it really hard on the defender, right? So if you go with one hand, you can go get it. But if you go with two hands, you got to go through one of those hands. Now you got to hit free throws. Utah's had a little bugaboo this year with some free throws. Only 65% as a team. Cole's made some big ones as of late. He's shooting 74% on the year. He'll have two here. 17 fouls on the Sycamores. First one up and good. Badgema having a nice first half. He doesn't want this to be his last game no, he either. he does not. Trevor's taking BC back. He's looking pretty good. I think it's a knee hit, so we'll see what happens in the second half. 119 to play. Utah one more free throw to try to make it a two-point game. Badgema's free throw, good. Beautiful. He's got nine now, and Utah up by a bucket, 44-42. Let's get a stop, Utah. Back in the zone. Into the front court. It's right side, Conwell. Inside, Avila. Back outside. That's a three up and missing. Rebound on the inside, Kent. He missed it. Rebound, Ben Carlson. He'll outlet to Madsen. Madsen on the drive to Erickson. Transition three. Missed it. Rebound, Indiana State on the weak side. Wolf's going to run it the other way for Indiana State. Wolf into the front court now with 48 seconds. Wolf at the top of the key, throws it inside. Avila, nice. nearly stolen by Hunter Erickson. What do they call A foul? On who? Oh, my gosh, they call that on Badjuma. So they're saying Cole held Avila on that? I, maybe he got his arm down there. That's the only way they're going to make that call. That's a generous call yeah. going the way of Indiana State. Robbie Avila, 81% free throw shooter. He leads all scores with 15 here in the first half. Indiana State, 7 of 8 at the line. There's Brandon Carlson coming back in love for Utah. It. Love it. He sees okay. Yeah, I love it. I like that because he's going to get a little live action before he goes in at halftime, so he's going to keep it warm. Badgeable will check out. Two fouls on Cole. Avila will shoot. I think this is one and one. Free throw up and missed it. Rebound, Ben right. Carlson. Ball don't go. lie. I like it. Here we go, Utah. Take advantage. Utah with about a 12-second difference. Shot clock to game clock. Erickson will handle. 
Hunter top of the key. Hunter down the lane. Throws it up to Love. Lovering. Lawson catches. Shoots up a hook shot and missed it terribly. It was a bad shot. Just not trusting it right there. Gotta one more shot. Shot block off. Indiana State will hold for one. Down by two. Their fans come to their feet. Conwell holds out front for ISU. Conwell beyond the arc. Conwell drives the lane. Shot up and good. We'll go to halftime tied at 44. What a game. Wow. I was impressive. He's a good player, man. And he's a lefty, and he went right, right there and got it over Lawson. What a game we've got going here in the first semifinal tonight. Utah 44 and Indiana State 44 here in Indianapolis' is Hinkle Fieldhouse. We'll grab a timeout. We'll come back with a halftime show next. This is Utah basketball from Learfield. Hey, Utes fans, Key Bank wants to meet you in the I Need New Utes Gear moment. When you open a qualified checking account and meet certain requirements, you can receive a $300 gift card to the campus store so you can rep your favorite team all season long. Don't miss out. This special offer ends April 12, 2024. To get started, visit key.com slash Utes or a Key Bank branch near you. Geographic restrictions may apply. Gift card can only be used in person at the campus store. Account early closure fees and other miscellaneous charges may apply. Key Bank, member FDIC and the official bank partner of the University of Utah Utes. Fubo is the official streaming platform of Utah Athletics. With Fubo, you can watch every Pac-12 game, plus more college and pro sports, shows, movies, and news on over 350 live TV channels. Stream it live on your TV, phone, and other devices. No cable required. The best part? You can try Fubo free. There's no contract or commitment. To start watching, just go to FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V.com. Ladies and gents, your Salt Lake City Tacova store is now open for business. If you're on the lookout for a great pair of boots or fine western goods for men and women, stop by your neighborhood Tacova store at City Creek Center and let their knowledgeable staff get you fitted and acquainted with a mighty comfortable, handcrafted pair of cowboy boots you'll enjoy for years to come. Head over to City Creek Center, step into your new favorite pair of boots from Tacovas, and don't go gently. In need of a bus charter for your next adventure, we'll look no further than the official team transportation provider for Utah Athletics. Holiday Motor Coach has a fleet of over 100 motor coaches servicing the Intermountain West, ranging in size from 24 to 56 passengers. Visit HolidayMotorCoach.com, that's HolidayMotorCoach.com, and request your free online quote today. Utes Basketball is brought to you by Key Bank, official partner of Utes Basketball, Fubo, the official screen platform of the Pac-12 Conference, and by Smith's Fresh for Everyone. This is the Utes Halftime Show. Halftime here at Indianapolis. We're in the same spot we were about an hour ago. <laughs> Tied up. Utah 44 and Indiana State 44 here in the first semifinal tonight. Welcome into the American First Credit Union Halftime Show, Utah's number one auto lender. American First offers low rates on flexible terms and unbeatable service, so be sure to shop and uh, go ahead to AmericaFirst.com and get pre-approved today. It wasn't always a thing of beauty in this yeah. first half for Utah. They found themselves down double digits twice, Sean. Yeah. Credit these guys, they didn't go away. Neither one of these teams plays great defense, so both have shot it pretty well in the first 20 minutes. Yeah, they really have, and they're winning the rebounding battle, which we're a little surprised, but you could see it was a point of emphasis. My guess is they went over and over that because they are blocking out, and then they're winning the points in the paint, and really they're doing that. It's a little bit like Eastern Washington right now. They ended up like kind of posting up our guards, right, and then Abula is the real deal, man. I mean, you know, he gets a catch in his side. He's got soft hands. He hit those threes to start the game. But I like our zone. It's it's changing it up, and it's really giving us a position. We're in a position where we can uh, make something happen in the second half. To, to be very fair, Abula is 6 of 8 yeah. on his field goals. Probably five of the six field goals he made weren't contested. Yeah, three they, of them. They were wide yep, open. They were the wide threes, open. The threes for sure. That's right. Marks. Yep, that's and, right. And Utah got a little bit better as a half went along. Here. Yeah. Utah shot 49% for the half. 
Indiana State 53. Utah 17 field goals made. Indiana State 16. Yeah. Utah 8 of 13 from deep. That's really why they're in this game. Yeah. Indiana State 5 of 14. Who, uh, Sycamore's got to the line 7, uh, seven of 9. Utah 2 for 2. Um, and Utah's done a pretty good job with turnovers tonight. Two yeah. of them. And really, neither one of them were forced. Yeah, no, that's right. And this team, the Sycamores, have done a good job of not giving up turnovers. And we've got points off turnovers of six right now, which bodes well for us. Those four offensive rebounds they've got, I would like to see that number switch for us. We need the offensive rebounds in this second half. Really balanced scoring sheet for Utah. Nine apiece for Badgeman, Davon Smith. Brandon Carlson's got eight. Ben Carlson's got six. And five apiece for Madsen and Erickson. The only guy that hasn't scored that's played has been Lawson Lovering. On the other side... Uh, two uh, Sycamores in double figures. Robbie Avila's got 15 points and five rebounds. And uh, Conwell's got 11 points in this first half as well. As uh, Utah's got a, uh, a dead even match right now. Kind of a dead heat here. They didn't have a field goal over the last 243. But they did knock down a couple of free throws. And then you see Lawson Lovering leading us with assists at three assists. So I talked a little bit about this. We have 10 assists right now. That is definitely something we need to do in the second half. But we get to that 20 assist mark. Typically, that bodes well for us. I'd like it, to see it happen. Davon Smith's got his nine points and three rebounds, but only the one assist yeah. here in the first half so far. So we'll see how it goes moving forward. We'll revisit Sean's key bank keys coming up in just a bit. But for now, we'll send it back to Salt Lake City and Porter Larson. We'll get you a scoreboard update straight ahead and get you caught up to date on sports scores and news of the day. We're in Indianapolis tonight. Game one of the NIT semifinals, Utah 44 and Indiana State 44. This is Utah basketball from Learfield. Premium checking from America First Credit Union is so much more than a regular checking account. It's a saves you money, makes life easier, always has your back account. Because it's absolutely loaded with fantastic benefits and features. In fact, it comes stocked with so much awesome stuff. It was voted best perks by money.com. So make sure you're rocking more than a checking account. Head to America First and apply for the exclusive protection, perks, and paybacks of premium checking today. Subject to membership eligibility and conditions. Federally insured by NCUA. world's best mountain gear and apparel is designed and engineered right here in the Wasatch by Black Diamond Equipment. Bring in your ticket stub from today's game to one of our three Black Diamond Utah stores located in Trolley Square, Holiday, and Park City to get 25% off select apparel and footwear from now until the next home game. Black Diamond Equipment, engineered for adventure. Becoming America's best-selling brand means you never settle for anything less. Like the Ford F-150, with its premium-grade muscle and finely-tuned intelligence, it's a beast with brains. The Ford Bronco Sport, with unquestioned toughness and capability, it's built to take on the mountains. And Ford's complete lineup of all wheel drive SUVs gives you the power, style, and space you need for life on the go. Contact your local Ford store for exclusive offers on Ford's full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. Sales can based on calendar your sales. Every game, every class, every basket, every performance, every discovery, every breakthrough. We're proud to help University of Utah students and fans reach higher. Whether it's in the classroom, the research lab, or out on the court. Go Utes! Rocky Mountain Power. Powering your greatness. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Utah. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. We all hear the radio ads about the IRS. They tell you to be afraid, to be scared, and they try to frighten you into calling. I'm not here to do that. Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's $5,000, $50,000, or $500,000, we have a solution. It doesn't matter if you're sitting in your car, at work, or with your kids. No matter where you are, call now. 800-575-6759. Don't lose hope. 800-575-6759. 
TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS. There is zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. Our passion is taxes and helping individuals fix their IRS problems. We have a five-star rating on Google and Yelp and an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. You don't need to be afraid of the IRS any longer. End your tax nightmare today by visiting us online at TRA.com or call 800-575-6759. That's 800-575-6759. Tax Relief Advocates. Real solutions for real people. Texting enrolls you in recurring automated marketing text messages. Consent not required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. If you're a man over 40, feeling like you're falling off in your workouts, career, maybe even in the bedroom, it could be lower testosterone, but you can do something about it. Men across America have beaten the slump thanks to Nugenics Total Tea. Let's hear from some Nugenics callers. This is Ron from Dallas. Unlike other supplements that might lead to jitters or crashes, Nugenics provides a steady increase in energy. I've experienced consistent energy levels throughout my workouts, helping me maintain the intensity from start to finish. Frank from Chicago, you're on. On air. It works, and it does everything everyone else is saying. I'm in my mid-40s. Sex drive improved, more energy, and I feel stronger. Don't wait. Text BOSS to 321-321 right now for your complimentary bottle of Nugenix Total Tea. It's the number one selling testosterone boosting brand at GNC and Walmart. Do it now, and they'll also send you a bottle of Nugenix Thermo X, their newest, most powerful fat burner ever. Absolutely free. Text BOSS to 321-321. That's BOSS to 321-321. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Dear Plugged In, you in on this? Toyota's versatile SUVs roll up their sleeves and take on tough jobs, dress up for a night out, or haul your family and friends with their spacious interiors. And they're available with some real sweet tech. Want a hybrid SUV? Oh yeah, they got those too. All with a slew of standard features so you won't break the bank. Get the juice at Toyota.com, folks. Visit your Utah Toyota dealer today. Toyota, let's go places. Becoming America's best-selling brand means you never settle for anything less. Like the Ford F-150, with its premium-grade muscle and finely-tuned intelligence, it's a beast with brains. The Ford Bronco Sport, with unquestioned toughness and capability, it's built to take on the mountains. And Ford's complete lineup of all-wheel drive SUVs gives you the power, style, and space you need for life on the go. Contact your local Ford store for exclusive offers on Ford's full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. Sales can based on calendar your sales. Every game, every class, every basket, every performance, every discovery, every breakthrough. We're proud to help University of Utah students and fans reach higher. Whether it's in the classroom, the research lab, or out on the court. Go Utes! Rocky Mountain Power. Powering your greatness. Shaping a game plan for your family's health care involves more than just X's and O's. It's being there when you need them most or when you least expect it. As the trusted health care provider for the youth family and yours, University of Utah Health has the right playbook for keeping your team healthy no matter what age or need. Get the same care the youths rely on by visiting uofuhealth.org. That's uofuhealth.org. best mountain gear and apparel is designed and engineered right here in the wasatch by black diamond equipment bring in your ticket stub from today's game to one of our three black diamond utah stores located in trolley square holiday and park city to get 25 percent off select apparel and footwear from now until the next home game black diamond equipment engineered for adventure show utah and indiana state tied at 44 halftime being brought to you by university of utah campus store and all of your team gear needs throughout the year with locations on main campus and in sandy all right sean 20 minutes maybe left yeah. in the season yeah maybe just for tonight but if utah wants this season to extend what's going to happen in the second 20 so just to review we did a nice job on the fast break we actually won that we got two points they got zero we got to keep that up and then we did a really nice job of uh, keeping our dribble alive off their ball screens, right? We talked about that. We need to put more pressure 
under Beulah, but I'm not sure that's going to happen today unless Lawson or Cabot does something. And then we have 10 assists on 17 free throws. Davon has one assist. We're going to see that grow to nine assists in the second half. Tied at 44. The second half is next. You've been listening to the American First Credit Union Halftime Show. This is Utah Basketball from Learfield. Dear Plugged In, you in on this? Toyota's versatile SUVs roll up their sleeves and take on tough jobs, dress up for a night out, or haul your family and friends with their spacious interiors. And they're available with some real sweet tech. Want a hybrid SUV? Oh yeah, they got those too. All with a slew of standard features so you won't break the bank. Get the juice at Toyota.com, folks. Visit your Utah Toyota dealer today. Toyota, let's go places. I can't tell you how long it took my husband to accept he had an ED problem. I could tell it troubled him in ways he couldn't express to me. I'm Brock with Happy Valley Clinic. 70% of men suffer from ED. The pills don't work, their partner is losing interest, and their confidence is wavering. With the latest technologies in ED function, Happy Valley Clinic can help. Call Happy Valley Clinic in the next five minutes for a free consultation and trial treatment. A $650 value. Call 833-ED-NO-FUN 833-ED-NO-FUN I can't tell you how long it took my husband to accept he had an ED problem. I could tell it troubled him in ways he couldn't express to me. I'm Brock with Happy Valley Clinic. 70% of men suffer from ED. The pills don't work, their partner is losing interest, and their confidence is wavering. With the latest technologies in ED function, Happy Valley Clinic can help. Call Happy Valley Clinic in the next five minutes for a free consultation and trial treatment. A $650 value. Call Call 833-ED-NO-FUN, 833-ED-NO-FUN. Brought to you by America First Credit Union. America First Credit Union is the only place you can get the official Utes Visa debit card. Score yours today at AmericaFirst.com. And by Pepsi. Grab a Pepsi Zero Sugar and cheer on the Utes. Now, with the call of the second half, here's the voice of the Utes, Bill Riley. 20 down, 20 to go on this Tuesday night in Indianapolis, Indiana. NIC semifinal, Utah and Indiana State tied at 44. Our second half brought to you by University of Utah Health. Get that same great care the Utes Trust. Visit uofuhealth.org slash care to be great. The winner advances to Thursday night's championship game to face either Georgia or Seton Hall. They'll play the second game here tonight. Utah 44 and Indiana State 44. Partner, I'm yeah. having too much fun calling these games. I want to call one more. What about you? Oh, man, I so agree. We got a little smoke in this building. The lights are turning on and off. These fans are going crazy. Yes. Yes, please. I want to call another one. Utah will trot out their same starting five tonight. It'll be Badgema, Lovering, Carlson, Madsen, and Davon Smith. For Indiana State, Larry, Swope, Conwell, Kent, and Avila. Everyone's standing. The crowd's going crazy. Man, this is college basketball. March, oh, wait, April madness. April madness. Thank you very much. It'll be Indiana State basketball. Utah won the opening tip. Hoosiers will have it. They get it inbounds, and Conwell will run the point, marked by Madsen as he crosses the timeline. Zone. Utah in a little bit of a zone right here. Indiana State operating on the outside with Julian Larry. Now to Conwell. Back to Larry. 4-3. In and out. No good. Rebound. Davon Smith. Went high to grab it. Davon runs it the other way for Utah. Secondary break not there. Sets the offense. Marked out front by Conwell. Davon had nine in the first half. Gets it to Brandon Carlson. Left elbow. Now straight away. And left side. They go inside the B.C. Back to Lawson Lovering, back out to Davon. He'll attack, throw it up, and miss yes. it, but he's fouled. Beautiful. Fouled at the rim by Avila, and that'll be free throws coming for Davon Smith. I love it. So Lawson did a nice job. He got a nice little uh, pass to Davon. Davon did a really nice job of attacking the rim, and you know, he just gets up there so high that it puts a lot of pressure on everybody. So two free throws here for Davon. First trip to the line tonight for the junior out of Atlanta, Georgia. Dad here today flew in from Atlanta for the ball game. First free throw up and short. Utah has to make free throws tonight. They just have to, Sean. They do. You're right. Yeah. Two for three on doTERRA free throws on the Utes. One more here for Davon. 
Put Utah in front, 45-44. We missed them both. Nice Rebound job. loss in Lovering, though, for Utah. Outside it comes to Davon. Badgema for three. Bullseye! Badgema for three. Utah by three, 47-44. Lawson got that started. Davon made a nice skip past to Cole. Utah stays in that zone here against Indiana State. Conwell left side. Three ball up and good. Conwell's got another triple. And we're tied again at 47. If you're going to play that zone, you got to rotate. You do. you got to at least try and make him make a couple more passes out of that. Brandon Carlson at the other end. Utah gets leads, but they can't hold him. They go inside to BC with Ken on his back. Now to Lawson Lovering. Back opposite side, Badgema catch and shoot three. Missed that one. Lovering can't hold the rebound. Avila's got it. He'll outlet on the run. Here comes Indiana State. Slope's got it in the corner. Utah back in a man-to-man as they match up. Avila backdoor pass. Slope, corner three, Kent. Missed it badly. Rebound, Davon Smith. 47 apiece. Here come the Utes. Davon in transition. Goodness. Dribbling on the baseline, right, gets into the lane. Davon throws up a jumper and can't get it to go. Rebound gathered in by Indiana State. They throw it ahead. Transition, Swope backs it out now. Swope, step back, nope. Avila's got it. Here's Conwell driving on the right-hand side. Mismatch now with Brandon Carlson. Conwell thinks about a drive, now gets down the lane. Cut off, throws it to the corner. Larry with a guard at three, got it. Julian Larry. Making Isaiah Swope his first points tonight. 6-0 run by the Hoosiers. They lead it by three. Swope's a kid we do not want to let get going. You can hear this crowd liking him, man. He's hot. Davon Smith operating to the baseline right. Davon guarded there by Conwell. Backs it out to Badgema. Cole gets down the lane, leaves it, gets fouled on a reach in. That'll go against Indiana State, second on the Sycamores. Cole's doing a nice job right there. So he's putting some pressure on these guys by putting the ball on the floor, and he's being aggressive. I really like it. Nice job, Cole. Ben Carlson checks in. Lawson Lovering checks out for Utah. Utah will inbound baseline right down three. Looking and looking and looking. Davon skips it all the way out front to Ben Carlson, who tipped it and now picks it up. I think that should have been Indiana State ball. Here's Ben, straightaway three ball, bullseye. We're tied at 50. Man, Bill, you're right. I think they missed that one. They didn't tip it. We tipped it. So I think that's the right. Well, I'm glad they gave us that call. Conwell with it outside. Julian Larry back to Conwell. Three ball. Missed it short. Rebound Ben Carlson. Outlet to Davon. Davon on the push. Fouled by Avila in transition. I love it. Second on Avila, third on Indiana State. Davon better be careful. He's going to knock himself silly. (laughs) He said he went right at him hard. Timeout on the floor here. Tied at 50 with 16.48 to play in the ballgame. This is Utah basketball in Indianapolis from the NIT. Right here from Learfield. Shaping a game plan for your family's health care involves more than just X's and O's. It's being there when you need them most or when you least expect it. As the trusted health care provider for the youth family and yours, University of Utah Health has the right playbook for keeping your team healthy no matter what age or need. Get the same care the youths rely on by visiting uofuhealth.org. That's uofuhealth.org. with pickup and delivery is the same as shopping in store same low prices same personalized deals same rewards on the same high quality items like honey crisp apples and pasta sauce with no hidden fees or markups it's one small click for groceries one big win for busy families everywhere start your cart today at smithsfoodanddrug.com smiths fresh for everyone restrictions apply see site for details No matter what kind of car you drive, two things are always true. All tires eventually need replacing, and all vehicles need servicing. Luckily for you, Big O Tires is an expert in both. They have all the name brand tires you trust for any vehicle on any road condition. They'll keep your vehicle running smooth with expert services on things like alignments, shocks, struts, batteries, brakes, and more. So if you live somewhere in Utah between Beaver and Logan, get into your locally owned Big O Tires, the team you trust. Six 
16.48 to play here in the ball game. Utah 50 and ISU 50. 16.48 to play in the ball game. Media time out on the floor. It'll be Utah basketball when we get out. What do you like about the first you know, three minutes or so here, Sean? Well, we got on the board first, right? We got a couple of fouls on them, which I love. And then how about Ben Carlson coming in, right? So we have not been able to put pressure on Ovula inside. But right now, Ben Carlson, I think that's his third three, Bill. It is, and he's a little quicker to the ball than is. Lawson is, but he's three for three from deep. Yeah. We've needed them all. Utah 10 of 16 from deep overall in this ball game, and we're tied at 50. Bill's good. So I think, you know, this is obviously one of those games right, right now is this thing is very likely going to be competitive all the way through. We certainly hope so for Utah's sake, although I wouldn't mind them pulling away a little bit. I wouldn't here. either. Second half being brought to you by University of Utah Health Trust and Health Care partner, the Utes family, and yours. You can find them online at uofuhealth.org slash care to be great. Second half so far, Indiana State 2 out of 5, Utah 2 out of 4 here in the second half. Utah 2 of 3 from deep, Indiana State 2 of 5 from deep. All their shots have been from long range here in the second half. Yeah, they have, and that partly because we've gone to that zone. And so they're looking at that wing three right now. Now, in the second, in the end of the first half, they did a nice job of finding seams against our zone, and they passed it really well. Their interior passing is good. So we need to make them change it a couple more times as opposed to giving up that first wing three out of the zone. Utah's largest lead tonight has been three a couple of different times. Indiana State's largest lead has been 11. They've had a couple of 10-point leads as well. Utah basketball, badgeable inbound right in front of the Utah bench. It'll be Carlson, Carlson, Madsen, and Smith with him. Cole looking to get it in, gets it into Davon. Conwell marks in. 25 feet for the basket, gives it up to Madsen on the left wing. Back out front to Ben Carlson, down to Davon. Looking we'll inside for BC. He's got Kent on his back. BC to the baseline. Brandon Carlson reverse layup, good. Big time move by Brandon Carlson, who's got 10. Utah back in front. Went right shoulder and then just got up and on the other side of the rim. Nice job, BC. 52-50 Utah. Guard the three-point line if you're the Utes right now. Here's Conwell right side. Here's a deep three from the right side. Good again. Isaiah Swope yeah. wide open knocks it down. Just laid on that closeout. He's a kid that can heat it up, man, so we got to get to him. They can all shoot the three, but Swope can really shoot it. Yeah. Sycamores by a point. They go back inside the BC again. No double team. Cuts to Davon Smith to the corner and around the horn. Ben Carlson will drive now. Ben in the lane, off the window. Good in the foul. What a spin move by Ben Carlson. He's in double figures now with 11. He might have 12 with a free throw. How about the patience by Ben Carlson? He recognized his guy was closing out strong, put it on the ground, and used his body to get to the rim. I like it. Ben to the line here to shoot a free throw. Utah 2 out of 4 on doTERRA free throws tonight. Ben at 68%. Is to put Utah up by two. Short. Oh, I mean, way short. Goodness, Utah. Pushed the other way by the Sycamores. Here's the drive on the baseline. Shot blocked by Erickson. Nice job. Rebound Carlson. Here comes Davon Smith. Davon. Yo-yo dribble. Backs it out with Conwell on him. Gets a screen. Gets it back. Matson for Love three. It. In and out. No good. Oh, he had a good look at it. That's Rebound Conwell. Wide open as you get. Yep. Back the other way, Isaiah Swope. He'll backdoor cut it, his layup good. Indiana State back in front. So you got it, you know, you just got to close out hard on him, but it's hard to deny because they'll backdoor you all day long. And a help side has to be there. 55-54, Sycamore fans to their feet. 15-11 to play in the ball game. Here's Ben Carlson to the corner to Brandon Carlson. BC back out front to Davon. Davon gets to the baseline left. BC 4-3, too strong. Rebound Indiana State. You can tell when it left his hand, yep. it was a little too strong. Wide open, though. Again, nice job by Davon to find him. Got to get a stop here if you're Utah. Here's Swope. Deep three again, up and missed that one. Rebound Madsen. That was a little bit of a heat check yeah, that time. His feet were a little off. Davon up the left side for the Utes. Down a point, 55-54. Davon gets to the baseline. Davon with the drive, leaves it, and then throws it away. And, and what do we have? Down. That could be a reach-in foul yep. on Hunter Erickson. It is. Davon should have laid that ball up. He needed to lay that one up. It was yeah. an easy and layup on the reverse side. It was. He went back to Hunter, who was cutting behind him, and Hunter ended up fouling the guy who got it on the still. 14-34 to play here. 
Brandon Carlson get a little bit of a break. Gabe Akana checks in for Utah. Two wide open threes the last time down. Madsen got a wide open three. BC had a wide open three. Couldn't get him to go. Here we go. All right. The fans are up and cheering. Davon Smith, Hunter Erickson, Ben Carlson, Gabe Akana. Gabe Madsen. Utah's going to have to be strong on defense. Get a stop here. Conwell to the foul line. Conwell back out. Avila for three. Missed it. Rebound Davon Smith. Robbie Avila had a wide open yes, look. Just did. couldn't get it to go. Davon the other way. Goes inside. Kata. Kata Kada. Kada drives. Kata shoots. Missed it. Rebound knocked around. Kata gets his own rebound. He throws it back out front. He's fouled. Nice. Or a travel. Oh, nope, they call it travel. They call it travel. So we did a nice job on the glass right there. Davon almost got one on the top. And then Kata just couldn't get his feet under him when he got that one. Turnover gives it back to Indiana State. Just the fourth Utah turnover tonight. 55-54 Sycamores. 14-10 to play here at Hinkle Fieldhouse. David needs to be less worried about locking up in there and just going over top of Avila when he gets the He's catch. more athletic. Yes. He can jump over the top of it. Yep. Utes in a zone. A little bit of a 2-3 yeah, here. Here's right. Conwell. Outside it comes. The drive. Leaving it to Avila. Layup good. They're cutting Utah up on the ground the drives again. 57-54, Indiana State. Got to be aware of that cut on that drive. It's going to happen every time. Screen high for Davon Smith. Davon search dribble to the baseline, pull up jumper. Missed it in the foul on Hill. Ben. That foul's going to go on Utah, and it's a timeout on the floor. Or 1-3, maybe it was on Cable. Indiana State in front by 357-54. Utes have made, missed their last four shots from the floor. 13-35 to play in the ball game. It's Utah basketball from Learfield. Dear Truck and Awesome, what do you think of when someone says tough? Honestly, I think of a Toyota truck. Tundra's one mean mother of a truck with a twin turbo V6, an incredible going power, and the Tacoma claws through terrain with a taller suspension and lots of creature comforts in the cockpit. Both Toyota trucks are decked out with tons of cool features and tech you'll dig. Check them out at toyota.com, folks. Visit your Utah Toyota dealer today. Toyota, let's go places. Does Big Willie's and Salt Lake House sports watch parties every week? Yes, but it's more than a sports bar. Does Big Willie's and Salt Lake have 30 high-depth TVs to watch all your favorite teams? Yes, but it's more than a sports bar. Does Big Willie's and Salt Lake serve up breakfast daily and have food and drink specials? Yes. Big Willie's is a sports bar and so much more. It's where the community gathers to eat, drink, play bingo, shoot some pool, and celebrate. Big Willie's, 1717 South Main Street or online at bigwillieslounge.com. Sports medicine experts give you the same great care they give the Utes because you belong back in the game as much as anyone. You can give them a call and set up an appointment at 801-587-2222. Go to sportsmed.uofuhealth.org. We're at Hinkle Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, Indiana. Game one of the two game semifinals tonight. Next one will be Georgia and Seton Hall. The winner of this one gets the winner of that one on Thursday night. Utah was tied at halftime, tied at 44. They find themselves down by three right now, 57-54. And, Sean, I think if Utah's just a skosh more patient on offense, they're going to get the looks they want. Don't you agree? Yeah, no, I do agree. And, you know, slow down just a little bit. Maybe our zone slowed them down a little bit. Right now it's 13-10 in the second half. And, and we know both these teams can explode for points. So let's see what happens, man. We have 13 minutes left to keep this season going, Bill. It'll be Madsen, Bajima, Brandon Carlson, Kay Bacata, and Hunter Erickson out there for Utah. 
Indiana State basketball, the uh, Sycamores have committed four fouls. Utah's committed two here. Utah, four of ten in the second half. Indiana State, five of 11. We're Utah's in, missed all their free throws. Back in that 1-1-3 one, one, or 1-1-2-1. One, one, one. Here we go, Utah. Indiana State with a basketball. Utah in a zone. Conwell's got it. Right side, he gets it to Swope. Back to Conwell. Hunter Erickson closes. No three that time for Conwell. Trying to free himself to the corner. Kent for three. Missed it. Rebound, Brandon Carlson for Utah. Nice. Rebound by BC. Hunter Erickson running the offense goes inside the cave of Kata. Kata spinning baseline, catches and steps out of bounds. Kata trying to do too much right now, Sean. Yep. So one of the old adages, right? When you're a big guy, if you don't like your position, go ahead and throw it right back out. Re regroup, gain ground, and get deeper. Utah hasn't scored in almost three minutes. They're down three, 57 54, staying in that zone. Indiana State working around. Conwell for three. That one's a long rebound, and that's an offensive rebound to Indiana State. Avila's got it now. Ball knocked away. Back to Conwell. Conwell will not hesitate to shoot. Either will this guy. Here's the drive. Swope pull-up jumper in the lane. Good. Five-point Indiana State lead, 59-54. They don't shoot many mid-range, but that was a good one. Yep, he's able to do it. Sycamore fans come to their feet again here at Hinkle Fieldhouse. There's 10,000 of them in here tonight. Nothing neutral about this site. Hunter Erickson going inside to Brandon Carlson. Kent on his back. BC going to work up and good off the window. Brandon Carlson just carving up Jason Kent on the inside. Way to stop the bleed in BC. Nice job to your right shoulder, man. 59-56 Sycamores. Outside Conwell, he'll drive it, kick it to the corner, back around the horn they go. Avila, deep shot up and missing again, long rebound to who? Oh, God. I guess they out of bounds off of Indiana State. And Gabe got hit his head on the chair, hopefully Gabe's Madsen's okay. down, he got whacked by the chair. I think that ball actually went off of Madsen. Might have been a foul on the play, though, so Swope maybe shot. that evens it out. Yeah, that's right. Swope shot that last one. BC got a late Close out on him, made him at least think about it. Shirts the coach from Indiana State kind of arguing his case. Utah basketball down three. Hunter into the front court against a man to man from the Sycamores. Dribble handoff to Gabe. Gabe whips it back and uh, throws it away. BC. Down the other way, a layup for Indiana State is good. That's four turnovers in the last four minutes for Utah. They're down by five. Craig Smith wants a timeout. Yeah, good timeout. We'll take it with him. Again, trying to do too much with the yeah. simple play is there is what costs Utah. 61-56, well, just... Indiana State. Timeout on the floor. This is Utah basketball from Learfield. In need of a bus charter for your next adventure? We'll look no further than the official team transportation provider for Utah Athletics. Holiday Motor Coach has a fleet of over 100 motor coaches servicing the Intermountain West, ranging in size from 24 to 56 passengers. Visit HolidayMotorCoach.com, that's HolidayMotorCoach.com, and request your free online quote today. on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Smiths app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. Plus, you can earn fuel points to save up to $1 per gallon at the pump. And with a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. So you can always save big every day with our savings and rewards. Smiths, fresh for everyone. Savings may vary by state. Restrictions apply. See site for details. Fubo is the official streaming platform of Utah Athletics. With Fubo, you can watch every Pac-12 game, plus more college and pro. Back at Hinkle Fieldhouse, Utah basketball. Davon Smith back in the ball game. Utah down five, 61-56. We're going to get a hard man-to-man. -man. Brandon Carlson on the low block. Going to work on Kent. Jump hook up, short. Might have got fouled. He did. Back, he did get fouled. He did no get whistle. Fouled. Indiana State basketball. Hoosiers on the attack, layup, good. Isaiah Swope again, he's got 12. Utah down seven, 63-56, Badgema drives, 
His layup, good. Looks like everybody stopped playing for a minute there. Cole got the layup to go. I'll take it. And Swope kind of lows you to sleep. He's got great hezzy moves right there. 63-58. Indiana State by five. Avila on the outside. Working his way on Davon Smith. Avila backing his way in. And a foul on Davon. That's his third. So Davon is trying to keep him off his spot, but he's using his arms instead of his chest. Which, you know, give him credit. He's just trying to keep him off his spot. He's a foot shorter, so... And do anything he can. Yeah. Somebody needed to come over and help him out a little bit, too. Timeout on the floor. It's a media timeout. 10.39 to play in a five-point ball game here in Indy. 63-58, Indiana State from Hinkle Fieldhouse. It's Utah basketball from Learfield. Spring is the time to check painting off your to-do list. Serta Pro Painters makes painting the spring easy and quick. We have more availability, which means you can have your home professionally painted much quicker. Love your indoors again by giving your home a fresh look this spring with a new coat of paint. Get your projects completed fast. Serta Pro Painters is your expert for all your home and business painting needs. For free estimates, call 800 go Serta or visit SertaPro.com. That's Serta with a C. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. You've spent a lot of time listening to me, but if you want to have someone listen to you, head to Ken Garf. Sure, they're in the car business, but their first priority has always been people. That's why they've been able to serve Utah for more than 90 years. They know that when you listen to customers and put their needs first, then quality vehicle selection, fair prices, and reliable service are all guaranteed. So whether you're buying, selling, or servicing, Ken Garf will listen to you no matter what. Head to KenGarf.com to get started. Ken Garf, we hear you. With the Smiths app, shopping online with pickup and delivery is the same as shopping in-store. Same low prices, same personalized deals, same rewards on the same high-quality items like Honeycrisp apples and pasta sauce with no hidden fees or markups. It's one small click for groceries, one big win for busy families everywhere. Start your cart today at smithsfoodanddrug.com. Smiths, fresh for everyone. Restrictions apply. See site for details. Big O Tires proudly presents Utah basketball tonight. Locally owned and operated, Big O Tires. Complete car care, convenient online appointments. Big O Tires, the team you trust. Indiana State 63, Utah 58. Almost halfway through the second half. 10.39 to play here at Hinkle Fieldhouse. What are you seeing right now, Sean, and what's got to change for Utah? So, obviously, Cole is leaving everything out there. He's doing a great job. He recognizes that last series, you know, they're going to run him off the three. He got to the rim and finished at the rim. Swope is heating up on their side. And and he really is a tough guy to guard because he's got this really nice little step back crossover. And then he kind of stands up straight and blows right by you. So, that was a tough shot. He hit that last one. We're right. I would like to be at five. I wouldn't like to be down five. But we're right where we need to be as far as being competitive it's in, in this game. And we need to come out and keep going to BC. BC's uh, getting it done on the block. Utah winning the rebounding battle this half, but three missed free throws have hurt. And they've made two fewer field goals than Indiana State has. Points in the paint, Sycamores plus 10. Bench points, Utah yeah. plus 13. I guess that evens it out of Skosh. Yeah. It'll be Sycamore basketball out of the timeout. Brandon Carlson, Gabe Madsen. Cole Badge, but Davon Smith and Ben Carlson here for Utah. I think Ben's probably the way to go here I in the second half. Yep, no, I think so too. Played well. He has. Conwell looking to get it in, lobs it way out front. He gets it there to Larry. Julian Larry nice. handling the basketball. Marked by Davon Smith. Larry comes behind the screen. Now Ben Carlson's got him on the switch. They go inside nice. to Avila. Stolen by Davon. Nice job, Davon. Davon Smith on the push the other way for Utah. Davon Smith throws it back out to Cole Badgeman. That was dangerous. Yeah, it was. Got up in the air and Cole bailed him out. Came to the ball. Utah trying to give it to Brandon Carlson inside. He's one-on-one with Kent. Brandon to the window. Layup. Good. Love He's it. done it again. Brandon Carlson now with 14. Utah back within 3-63-60. If they're not going to double, that's what they're going to give up. Just keep going to them. Ten minutes to play in the ball game. Is it ten minutes to play in the season for Utah? Corner ball. Kent drives. Leaves it for Avila in the lane. Avila back outside. Conwell for three. Got it. Conwell's third triple tonight. He's got 19. And Utah down six again, 66-60. Great pass by Avila right there. Here we go, Utah. Utah is not closed on three-point shooters tonight well at all. 
Here's the corner ball of Gabe Madsen. Back out, Ben Carlson for three, too strong. Rebound off it comes to Swope. Swope ahead, reverse layup, good. It's an eight-point lead. Hell of a pass right there by Swope, man. 68-60, danger time for Utah. They go inside to Carlson, and he's fouled. Team foul number five on Indiana State. That one's going to go against Conwell, his second. Did we need that foul or what? That was a little bit of a lazy pass, too, by Davon. Thank goodness that he had good position. Utah got to get a bucket here now. Sycamores have made their last four and lead it by eight. Off the inbound, baseline right, into Ben Carlson. And dribbles it back out to the point, reverses to Davon. Davon will hoist the three and hit it. Bullseye for Davon Smith, 68-63. Just chill that shot, too. It looked good all the whole way. Good rotation off his right hand. Indiana State basketball with a five-point lead. Conwell guarded on the perimeter by Badgema. Conwell to the right elbow. Back outside. Swope passes on the three. Avila back to Conwell for three. Missing. Utah catches a break. And they a foul on who? Ben Carlson. Blocking out Kent. Is that the right call? Yeah, it's the right call. That sucks because we got that stop. BC got the rebound. Back it goes to ISU. Third team foul on Utah. Make it fourth now. Conwell looking to inbound. Still looking to inbound. Lobs it out front. Avila. Back to Conwell on the catch. Now the switch on the perimeter. Ben Carlson's got it. Skip it right side. Looking inside. They want Avila to move. Back to Conwell it comes. Conwell going to work on Ben Carlson down the lane. Layup good and the foul. Utah's got no answer for Ryan Conwell. He's got 21. And he's really good. He recognizes Ben's on him. Crosses him over and goes by him. 8.33 to play. Seven-point lead. Sycamores have made five of their last six and a chance for a three-point play the old-fashioned way here for ISU. Ryan Conwell, 85% at the line. Two out of three tonight. Indiana State puts nobody on the line. Free throw up and good. It's an eight-point lead with 8.33 to play. Utah can't get any stops right now. That's the biggest issue. Yep, it is. Here we go, Utah. Davon working at the point, moving right. Screen high by Ben Carlson. Here's Madsen, catch and shoot three. Bullseye! On the move, Madsen drills it. He's got eight. Utah back within 5, 71, 66. Here we go, Utah. Get a stop. 2-3. Here's a deep three by Indiana State. That went off the mark and rebounded by who? That's off us. That's off of Davon Smith. It's yeah. going to be Indiana State basketball. One of those crazy long rebounds. He's trying to track it down on the corner. He just couldn't quite get to it. Now ISU will inbound on the corner of the court right by their bench. Conwell will trigger it. They've gotten wide open looks off of end outs here tonight. They get it into Avila. Avila back. Here's the drive by Kent. Kent fades it outside. Bledson up. And good. Xavier Bledson. He's not a three-point shooter, but he knocked that one down. 74-66 back to an eight-point lead. Davon Smith outside Carlson for three. Too strong. Rebound ISU. Seven and a half to play. Danger time here. Three in the corner. Sycamores. Good. Ah. Julian Larry makes it an 11-point game. And a timeout taken by Craig Smith. It's a 6-0 run over the last 30 seconds. And again, Utah just can't guard the perimeter tonight. Yeah. It's 11 of 30 on threes for the Sycamores transition right there they do a really good job they find their spots and they got a knockdown that's found a lot of rim and it still went in time out on the floor here at hinkle Fieldhouse. utah in some danger now with 727 to play down 11 indiana state 77 utah 66 it's utah basketball from learfield since 1939, America First has been helping people pursue their financial goals. And as we have, we've become one of the largest credit unions in the country.
country. The reason why is simple. It's because every day we do our very best to help each person, family, and business we serve to realize their individual dreams and achieve financial well-being. True to our name, we always strive to put our members and employees first. So come join us and let us put you first. America First Credit Union. Federally insured by NCUA. Smith's always gives you savings and rewards on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Smith's app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. Plus, you can earn fuel points to save up to $1 per gallon at the pump. And with a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. So you can always save big every day with our savings and rewards. Smith's, fresh for everyone. Savings may vary by state. Restrictions apply. See site for details. Ladies and gents, your Salt Lake City Tacova store is now open for business. If you're on the lookout for a great pair of boots or fine western goods for men and women, stop by your neighborhood Tacova store at City Creek Center and let their knowledgeable staff get you fitted and acquainted with a mighty comfortable, handcrafted pair of cowboy boots you'll enjoy for years to come. Head over to City Creek Center, step into your new favorite pair of boots from Tacovas, and don't go gently. First, proud to sponsor Utah basketball. It'll be Utah's number one credit union. America First has everything you need to reach your financial goals faster. So make a fast break to AmericaFirst.com and join the home team today. Well, there's not technically supposed to be a home team here tonight. Yeah. But there is. Yes. 10,000 Sycamore fans would tell you otherwise. And Indiana State feeding off the crowd and feeding off of wide open shots. Hammering home 11 threes, and they lead Utah by 11 here, Sean, with 7.27 to play. Yeah, and then they got seven fast break points in this half, which is you know just easy buckets. It fuels the fire. Swoop hit that first three, and then Conwell's really good. I mean, he's just manhandled this inside. doesn't matter who's guarding him. He's done a good job. They're a good team. This is it right here, Bill. Down 11, 7.27. We got to get some stops, and we got to get some makes on the other end. The makes have been okay. Utah shooting 50% in the game and 50% for the half. They just can't get stops. Yeah. Indiana State shooting 54% in the game and 54% in the half. And taking advantage of second chance points, outscoring Utah 13 to 6 second chance. Yeah, which I would have never guessed, but it's happening, so we got to change something. We got to change those things right now. Here we go, Utah. Utah down 11. They get the ball into Davon Smith. He's at the NIT logo, guarded by Ryan Conwell. Man to man here for the Sycamores. Hunter Erickson in the corner, looking inside, nothing there. Looking down for BC. Skip pass opposite side for Badgema. Now to Davon Smith. Ten on the timer, Davon will hoist a three and hit. Another big triple for Davon Smith. Love it. He's got 15, Utah back within eight. Here we go, Utah, get a stop. Come now on. here's where they've got to get better, Sean. They've got to get better on the defensive end, get some stops. Man to man. Driving a back out there by Isaiah Swope. He'll get down the lane, get cut off on the baseline, fire it back outside. Here's a straightaway three, around and out. Stick back by Avila. Nobody boxed out the biggest guy on the floor, and Avila sticks it back in. Crazy. The lead our, back to 10. Our smalls were on him. Here's a steal, and a run out by Indiana State. Layup good. 12-point lead, the biggest of the night, 81-69. Utah beating itself right now. Brandon wants it on the inside. They can't get it to him. Hunter Erickson. Hunter's going to drive. Reverse layup. Knocked out of bounds by Indiana State. Stays with Utah. Hunter should have kicked that ball he, back out to Brandon. It was wide open top of the key. He saw Obula and he just tried to get downhill on him. And Obula did a nice job defending him. 6.15 to play. Utah needs buckets and stops right now. They lob it into BC. Back to game. Yeah. Catch and shoot three. Too strong. Rebound. Nice job, Davon can't get it. Avila checks it down. He's got nine rebounds. Good defense. Drive the other way. Shot up oh. and good by Swope. My goodness. He went right at Erickson. Yeah. And stuck it in his eye. Yep. 13 point lead. 14 point lead. Biggest of the night. Sycamore fans on their feet. Davon Smith down, he'll pull up jumper right side, good. Davon's got 17. And a timeout taken by Craig Smith with 5.46 to play. It's 83-71, Indiana State. 30 seconds, is that what they're saying? I think 30-second timeout is what we're saying. Nope, full timeout, we'll take it with them. 
5.46 to play and a full timeout taken. Indiana State by 12, trying to put Utah away. We'll see if the Utes can get a stop and a run here. It's Utah basketball from Learfield. Since 1939, America First has been helping people pursue their financial goals. And as we have, we've become one of the largest credit unions in the country. The reason why is simple. It's because every day we do our very best to help each person, family, and business we serve to realize their individual dreams and achieve financial well-being. True to our name, we always strive to put our members and employees first. So come join us and let us put you first. America First Credit Union. Federally insured by NCUA. Smith's always gives you savings and rewards on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Smith's app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. Plus, you can earn fuel points to save up to $1 per gallon at the pump. And with a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. So you can always save big every day with our savings and rewards. Smith's, fresh for everyone. Savings may vary by state. Restrictions apply. See site for details. Ladies and gents, your Salt Lake City Tacova store is now open for business. If you're on the lookout for a great pair of boots or fine western goods for men and women, stop by your neighborhood Tacova store at City Creek Center and let their knowledgeable staff get you fitted and acquainted with a mighty comfortable, handcrafted pair of cowboy boots you'll enjoy for years to come. Head over to City Creek Center, step into your new favorite pair of boots from Tacovas, and don't go gently. Okay, Utah. Full court pressure. Indiana State with the basketball out of the timeout by 12. They lead it. Utah on a man to man here. Or nope. For the zone right now. Get the ball to the corner here. Ledson's got it. Back out. Wide open three ball. Missing. Brandon Carlson with the rebound. Then he throws it away. Then he blocks the shot and gets called for the foul. Goodness. He threw it literally right to yeah. Julian Larry. So great rebound by BC, and they just did not see Julian Larry's trying to get an outlet right there. And unfortunately, the kid collected it, and he had to foul him. Two free throws coming for Julian Larry, who's four for four at the line tonight. Indiana State, eight out of ten on doTERRA free throws, but he missed that one. Utah down 12 with 5.22 to play. One more free throw here for Larry. He missed them both. Wow. Take it. There we go, Utah. Davon Smith with the ball for Utah. Quickly into the front court. Buckets and stops. Utah needs them. 5-10 to play. Carlson way out above the arc. Lost the handle. Gathered it back. Now to Ben Carlson. Now to Madsen inside the BC. BC going to work. No help coming. He goes up, under, and dunks it home. That's right on the head of Xavier Bledson. Great job, BC. Utah down 10 now. 83-73. Lots of time left. Here we go, Utah. Conwell handles, guarded by Badgham on the perimeter. Whips it around the perimeter. Swope's got it. Now outside, Conwell for three. Got it. I mean, nobody's in his area, Sean. That's his yeah. fourth triple. Yeah, they're, they're just dialed in on the zone right now, and they're getting to the middle, and it's a nice opposite pass. We just not get in there. 86-73. Danger time. Inside Carlson. No help coming. Brandon's going to go to work again, and he's fouled by Bledson. That'll be team foul number six on the Sycamores. Utah will keep the basketball, but time is not their friend right now. Just 424 to play. Yeah, so Bledson's a, a guard, really 6'6", six, six, and he's doing a good job at BC. Our twos are not beating their threes. Davon looking to get it in. Lobs it out front. Ben Carlson catches, gets tackled. And they call the foul on Indiana State. It's probably the right call. It was. Although it was a late whistle. Way yeah. late. Yeah. One and one coming here for Ben. Free throws that have to be made if you're Utah. Utah 2 of 5 in the line tonight. If you want to have any chance here, Sean, with 4.22 to play. Got to make your free throws. Got to make free throws when the clock is stopped. Ben's last time down missed it quite short. So let's see if he can correct that and find that. Ben Carlson tonight, 11 points, but 0 for 1 at the line. Trying to extend his career. He's a senior. Free throw up and missed it. I mean, it was long, long. from the jump. Yeah. 
Indiana State basketball. Staying in the zone, it looks like. Man to man. No, man to man. Man to man. Sycamores have made four of their last five, shooting 56% here in the second half. Badjama out front. They lob it inside to Avila. He catches shot up, missing, but he'll shoot two free throws. Goodness. So Avila is not going to go up and over top of anybody, but he's got really good hands, collects it, and gets it off. Final media timeout here at Hinkle Fieldhouse, and Utah in real trouble. Down 13 with four minutes to play, and free throws coming for the Sycamores. For the Big O Tires broadcast spot at Utah Basketball from Learfield. Does Big Willie's and Salt Lake host sports watch parties every week? Yes, but it's more than a sports bar. Does Big Willie's and Salt Lake have 30 high depth TVs to watch all your favorite teams? Yes, but it's more than a sports bar. Does Big Willie's and Salt Lake serve up breakfast daily and have food and drink specials? Yes, Big Willie's is a sports bar and so much more. It's where the community gathers to eat, drink, play bingo, shoot some pool, and celebrate. Big Willie's, 1717 South Main Street or online at bigwilliesloungecom From tea to green, Utah Golf Radio getting you inside the ropes on all things golf in Utah. Teed up by Salt Lake City Golf and the Salt Lake City Golf app. Join Paul Pugmire and Jan Brownstein every Saturday morning from 8 to 10 on Utah's number one sports talk, ESPN 700 and the Rocky Mountain Golf Network. Not sure what to do after a wreck with a truck? Call Siegfried and Jensen. Here's a fact. Trucks aren't just 18-wheelers. They come in all shapes and sizes. Construction and utility vehicles, tankers, box trucks, flatbeds, and other company vehicles are all trucks. Don't let trucking companies and their insurance carriers intimidate you. If you've been injured in a wreck with a truck, get the facts and the help you need. Call Siegfried and Jensen. Tonight's Utah basketball broadcast from the NIT semifinals being brought to you by... America First Credit Union. Whatever your financial game plan, America First is here to help you succeed with solutions for every need. Simply no better teammate than America First. Become a member today at your neighborhood branch or at AmericaFirst.com. Sycamores of Indiana State. Just above their season average right now. There's still four minutes to play here, Sean. They execute very well on offense, but to be, to be very fair... Utah's just been a step off tonight defensively, haven't they? Yeah, we really have. I mean, that's that. unfortunately, that is the, the story of the year for us. Defensively, we have just not been able to impose our will on anybody. This is a very good offensive team, but you would hope to take something away. So early, they were scoring in the paint on us, and now, most recently, they are getting at will three-pointers from the wing against us. Utah's shot well from deep now tonight. They're 13 of 24, but... Indiana State getting to the line and knocking down open threes. They're 12 of 33. And that's just above their season average. Robbie Avila, the big man, will go to the line. He's got 19 points and 10 rebounds tonight. The man they call Milk Chamberlain. <laughs> or Larry Nerd. <laughs> Had a good game tonight against Utah. He's good, man. One of those guys that you look at and you think maybe not, but then... Maybe yes is what you end up realizing. Two free throws here for Avila. He's 0 for 1 at the line tonight. Indiana State 1 for 3 here in the second half. Now 2 out of 4 as he knocks that down. Lead now 14. Big man in the rec spec steps up and misses the second with a long rebound. Gabe Madsen. Quick outlet, Davon Smith. Utah down 14 with four minutes to play. Davon to Hunter. Hunter's going to drive baseline, step back into a jump shot, and miss it. Good Rebound BC. BC, and he's fouled on the floor, and he'll shoot one and one. One of our few offensive rebounds. Nice job, BC. Way to offside Sill. 18 fouls on Indiana State. Brandon Carlson to the line, shooting one and one. This might be the final game of his storied career. By the way, Brandon. Yeah, did he pass it? Not quite. Luke Neville's fourth all-time in scoring. Brandon's now got 17. He needs 24 to pass him. So he's still got a chance. He does. Made the first free throw. One more here for B.C.
That one rattles out. No good. Rebound Indiana State. Utah just three of eight on free throws. Man to man. Sycamores take their time right now. Time's on their side. They're up 13. Avila backing his way in on Erickson. Avila to the lane. Shot up. Rejected. They're going to call goaltending. Brandon got over there late. It's a good thought, but he got yeah. there a second too late. Yeah. That's a goal, 10, and a bucket. 15-point lead, biggest tonight now. So we had Hunter on Avila, and he just slowly backed his way in. BC tried to help. Just got there a little bit late, like you said. I don't know what they're calling right now. They're Hunter's talking to him. Oh, they're looking at they're it. They're looking at it. That's right. It's close. Yeah, it is. It's close. We're not courtside like we usually are. We're up a little bit here at Hinkle Fieldhouse, and at the angle we were, it's hard to tell. They're going to score, score the basket. So That was a fast one. Yep, it was. Utah down 15 with 327 to play. Interesting choice. Uh, out of that timeout, we went Hunter one-on-one -on -one against Avila, and then they went Avila one-on-one -on -one against Hunter. Who's going to win that battle? Every time it's going to be the man in the rec specs. Eight inches taller and outweighs him by about 40 pounds. Davon Smith at the left elbow. Back out to Erickson for three. Splash! That's a bullseye. Erickson now with eight. Utah down by 12. Great pass. Full court pressure. They throw it ahead. This one might be a layup. Nope, they're going to back it out. Smart. Smart move by Julian Larry. Right. He'll eat a little clock here. Three minutes exactly to play Utah down 12 and a foul on the perimeter on Cole Badgema. It'll be one and one here for Indiana State. 259 left. Down 12. Julian Larry going to the line. He's four of six tonight. 81% on the year. And Avila comes out. Larry out of Frisco, Texas. Played in all 37 games this year for Indiana State. First free throw, got it. 90-77, 259 to play. One more here for the junior. Got them both. He's got 15. And a timeout taken by Indiana State. The fans are up on their feet, cheering on their squad, the home squad. 30-second time. That's we'll keep it right here. Reminds our broadcast tonight brought to you by Smiths and by Pepsi, two great partners of Utah basketball. So, barring some sort of miraculous comeback here, the season's likely going to yeah. end here tonight, which is disappointing, Sean. But it is. Boys made a nice run to get here to the NIT semifinals, and now comes that uncertain time where yeah. in today's day, age of college basketball who's going to be on the team who's not going to be on the team we know Raleigh Wooster's already left the program yeah. you'd like to think a lot of these guys are going to come back they right. seem to have a real good camaraderie but right. in today's day and age you just never know you just never know and, and it is really weird right and the reality is that you could have an entirely new team next year not that we want that but that's something that does happen and is happening across college basketball well there'll be a lot of new faces but you hope you're able to keep some of the core of this team it's yes. been really good and you got to replace Brandon Carlson. You yeah. got to replace Cole Badgema and Brandon Carlson yep. for yep. sure. I'm not sure that that's a, that's a possibility. Really hard to replace a BC. They get it into Brandon Carlson, gives it to Hunter Erickson, who's on the push. Hunter on the drive, gets to the baseline, fires it out front. Davon yeah. for three. Splash! That's a bullseye. Davon's got 20 now. Nice job. Full court pressure by Utah. What kick, are they going to call it? Kick, kick the ball. Cold. So seven seconds left to get it across midcourt. Utah down 11, 91-80. Davon's got 20. He's four of four from deep tonight. Goodness. Seven rebounds, six assists. Ben Carlson's going to check in. I think Brandon Carlson's going to check out for just a minute. It's an interesting substitution for Utah. Shooting incredibly confidently tonight, Davon. He's been dialed in from yeah. the jump, and so is B.C. Here's a lob down the floor, caught by Indiana State. That was one game. He lost the ball. He, he might did. have been able to pick that off. 
Pressuring all over the floor, Utah. Trying to get the ball out of the hands of the ball handler. He gives it on the baseline. Avila layup, good. They've just absolutely shredded uh, Utah with the backdoor cuts tonight. Their spacing Pocket is... passes and, and backdoor cuts. Yeah, spacing's excellent. Davon again, top of the key. Davon back outside. Hunter for three. Missed it. Long rebound, Indiana State. Uh, there's cool. a foul by Badgerman. His fourth. Utah's ninth, one and one coming here for Indiana State. And that'll likely do it. Wow. Two sixteen to play. Sycamores by thirteen. Standing ovation for Robbie yeah. Avila. Yeah. Why not? Twenty four points and ten rebounds. Pretty good. Free throws here for Conwell. One and one with nine team fouls on Utah. Conwell's free throw, good. So if they do win this, I know who I'm cheering for tomorrow. Indiana, or Thursday night, Indiana State, along with these fans. Conwell, 26 points to lead the way tonight. For the Sycamores, now 27. Oh. That ties his career high. 95-80. Indiana State by 15. Davon into the front court. Gets it back for Gabe Matson. Davon out front to BC. Back to Davon. Open for three. Got it again. Another triple for Davon Smith. He's wow. five for five from deep and 23 points. Dialed in, man. Nice, nice job, Davon. Utah going to foul. They do, and that'll be double bonus time. As Isaiah Swoop will go to the foul line for the first time tonight for Indiana State. Well, Utah had plenty of offense tonight. They've got 83 points. Oh. They just couldn't get stops. They just were not as dialed in on the uh, defensive end as they were right. on the offensive end. Yeah, we kind of joke when we say a person went to 100, but it's not a joke in this game. That's, that's what's happening right now. Swope misses the front end. Minute 49 to play. Utah's out of timeouts. Second free throw by Swope. Got that one. Isaiah Swope with 15 points. Davon quickly into the front court. Screen high from BC. We'll shoot another three up and hit it again. Wow. He's got 26. Utah down by 10. All right, here we go, guys. Come Pressuring on. Pressuring into the backcourt now. Indiana State's going to try to dribble away from it. They throw it forward. If you're Utah, you're going to have to foul now. Out front, they try and get the ball out of the hands of oh. Conwell. I thought he had it. Are you going to foul if you're Utah? Might as well not now. Let yeah. it play out. Into the corner to Kent. Back door to Kent. He'll dunk it down with two hands. 98-86. Smith operating for Utah on a reach-in foul on Conwell. <laughs> the coach is upset about that foul right there. So... All day long, one of the things that they do incredibly well is when they pass it to somebody, it's basically a give and go. And the guy who passed it is cut into the basket. They have scored off that immensely today. Davon Smith with a career-high 26 points. You can add to that right now. Incredible, man. Certainly hope this young man's back next yes, year. Yes, yes. Free throw up and good. 27 now for Davon. Impressive. Five triple doubles this year. Really has kept Utah competitive with the loss of Raleigh Wooster to the injury this year. Yes. He's going to tuck his jersey in and yeah. get one more free throw. 27.7 rebounds, six assists for Davon Smith. Got that one, 28 now for Davon. Ben Carlson will check back in. Utah down to 11 with a minute two to play. Quick steal, maybe a quick bucket. We'll yep. see. Sycamore's looking to get it in. They're looking to get it in due to Conwell. They're going to have to foul Conwell. He's going to dribble it across the nice. timeline. Nearly oh. stolen by Badgema. Almost got it. They throw it across the timeline again. Now Swope's got it. Make it Larry to Bledson. Bledson to the corner to Swope. Utah's not fouling. Yeah. They'll drive baseline, cut off there, leaves it, layup good by Avila. Goodness. Avila with 26. Now a steal in a corner three, missed. 
32 seconds. Here's Hunter Erickson. Erickson on the drive, layup good. Hunter's got 10. 100 to 90. Wow. ISU in the backcourt, Bledson ahead. Shot clock off, they'll just dribble it out. They'll hold it at midcourt. Indiana State's going to advance to the NIT championship game on Thursday night. And Utah's season will end this evening in Indianapolis as the clock rings zero. It's Indiana State 100 and Utah 90. A big-time win for the Sycamores. They get their 32nd on the year, and Utah finishes their season at 22 and 15. We'll grab a timeout. Be back with the post-game show next. This is Utah basketball from Learfield. The world's best mountain gear and apparel is designed and engineered right here in the Wasatch by Black Diamond Equipment. Bring in your ticket stub from today's game to one of our three Black Diamond Utah stores located in Trolley Square, Holiday, and Park City to get 25% off select apparel and footwear from now until the next home game. Black Diamond Equipment, engineered for adventure. Fubo is the official streaming platform of Utah Athletics. With Fubo, you can watch every Pac-12 game, plus more college and pro sports, shows, movies, and news on over 350 live TV channels. Stream it live on your TV, phone, and other devices. No cable required. The best part? You can try Fubo free. There's no contract or commitment. To start watching, just go to FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V.com. Hey, Utes fans, Key Bank wants to meet you in the I Need New Utes Gear moment. When you open a qualified checking account and meet certain requirements, you can receive a $300 gift card to the campus store so you can rep your favorite team all season long. Don't miss out. This special offer ends April 12, 2024. To get started, visit key.com slash Utes or a Key Bank branch near you. Geographic restrictions may apply. Gift card can only be used in person at the campus store. Account early closure fees and other miscellaneous charges may apply. Key Bank, member FDIC and the official bank partner of the University of Utah Utes. Every game, every class, every basket, every performance, every discovery, every breakthrough. We're proud to help University of Utah students and fans reach higher. Whether it's in the classroom, the research lab, or out on the court. Go Utes! Rocky Mountain Power. Powering your greatness. Today's game is sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Looking for a career path with flexibility and great pay and benefits? Go to Progressive.com slash careers and apply online today. This is Utah Basketball from Learfield. Call in all Utah Hoopers. Are you ready to take your game to the next level? Introducing Shoot 360 Leagues, a revolutionary three-person team shooting competition for players of all skill levels. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just like playing with your buddies, Shoot360 Leagues is a unique immersive basketball experience that combines cutting-edge technology, competition, and a whole lot of fun. Come experience it for free at the new Kaysville location. Exhibition play is going on now. Learn more at Shoot360.com backslash leagues. This is Garrett Handy. And this is Preston Handy from the law firm of Handy & Handy. In sports, it's all about teamwork. Let Handy & Handy be part of your winning team. We are experts in helping people that have been injured in accidents. With over 40 years of winning cases, we want to win your case and get you the compensation you deserve. Contact us today for a free consultation. At Handy & Handy, you're not just another number. Big firm experience, small firm attention. Basketball has been brought to you by Big O Tires. Stop by your local Big O Tires for no credit needed financing. Big O Tires, the team you trust. And by University of Utah Health, trusted health partner for the Utes family and yours. This is Utes Post Game. Outlet to Davon Smith. Davon on the run. Davon coast to coast. Layup good. There we and go. Utah leads it. 34 to 33, a timeout taken by Indiana State. It's a big moment in the first half for Utah after being down by 10, then 11 to get that game back and rallied and take the lead. 
They'd be tied at 44 at half, but in the second half, they just had no answers for Indiana State's offense. ISU was outstanding offensively. They didn't guard much either, but they guarded well enough tonight, and they beat Utah by a final score of 100 to 90. This is the post game show being brought to you by Big O Tires. Complete car care, convenient online appointments. Big O Tires, the team you trust. Sean Mooney, it's as simple as. Yeah. You give up 100 points, you yeah. let the other team shoot better than 50% for the floor. It's going to be tough to win on what we can call the road here tonight. <laughs> yeah. And, we, you know, we talked about the uh, Missouri Valley maybe not being as tough. I got to say right now, that team was tough, man. They came out and out-toughed us on the glass. They out-toughed us on second-chance points. Yep. They had more blocked shots than we did. Like, they, they I'm going to give them credit. Yeah, I didn't think that would be the case. I thought Utah would be a little bit more physical, a little bit more tough coming out of the Pac-12. That was not the case, but to be very honest, that's really been the bugaboo for Utah in a lot of games this year, defensively and toughness-wise. It just hasn't been there, and I know that's bugged Craig Smith quite a bit. Oh, man. Any coach out there will tell you that that's one of the things they always want to get out of their team. And, you know, it's not just a given. That's the reality. It's not just a given. But I do think that, you know, when you joke that it's the first one to 100, 